Welcome to the YGOC podcast, Young hey. Guns of Comedy. What's up, what's up? I am one of your co-hosts, Fatima Ming. And to my left, we got... K-Dot. And we got... Whisper. And we got... Hey, it's Charlie Wilson TV. <laughs> what's up, baby? And behind the glass curtain, as usual, we have h &S in the building. <coughs> Shalom to the people. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back, YGOC. We got a good show for y'all. Uh, we're going to do our usual hot topics. We're going to find out what's wrong with K-Dot. You right. know, we're going to have some questions of the day. I'm going to get my two cents about stuff. But, you know, let's kick it off, Charlie. You know, yeah. let's, let's shoot the shit. What's hey, up? Hey, man, we going to shoot this shit off right, man. How y'all weekend going so far? Hey, we got a three-day weekend. Shout out to MLK. Woo! Player yeah, you know and saying. everything. Yeah. We said, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, brother. <laughs> and we'll bring you. And we'll appreciate shit else from Martin Luther King. It is that Monday we get on. Right? Trash. Right. Right. You right. are right. trash. Right. Right. We, we, we appreciate some shit. Okay. okay. Exactly. Oh. Jeez, did a lot. Light skins. Had a busy the week. light skins be tripping. Anything tripping. fun this weekend? Yeah. Let's talk about Friday. Yeah, we Friday. checked out. Me and KD's going out to support. Friday, yes. Charlie and Whisper Friday. doing their thing. Shoot yes. your shot Friday is an open mic spot, man. Yeah, they had yeah, the yeah. team come through. Young Guns of Comedy was in the building. In the building. Shout out to Whisper that went up there and killed it, man. She I was did. so, yeah, let me did. give you a round yeah, of applause. Give her a round. Everybody did really good. Thank she you, does. appreciate she it. She was really being a little job. too hard on herself, but she did a good job. <laughs> Man, I'm hard on myself. I'm hard on myself. But Charlie was funny. He was. Oh. Yeah. He was I funny. thought he was going to go over with some dad jokes. I was like, no. oh. But he <laughs> was <laughs> funny. And I, I caught him slipping at one point in time during uh, the show. Oh, uh, see that? Oh, she yeah. Mean, she was, keep me alive now. She was we supreme hating. She was. We Man, was he was up there <laughs> talking, and some girl got up and walked across oh, the, across him. She to, was like, he's married. Right. Yeah. He's married. Yeah. You're married. Okay. Because uh, he be was talking. Me, no, all. you was talking a little too much, and I was Man. like, you're married. Shout out, shout out to Shelly. She had a whole Shelly moment. She had right, to put it out there. Like, okay. You're married. Don't talk. Let me tell okay. you what. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie got the coldest body roll. Like, <laughs> yes. Hilarious. This nigga will outworm you any day. Yeah, so shout out to Open Mike Spock again. Shout out to Whisper Williams. If y'all haven't seen her perform live, make sure y'all come check yeah. her. Yeah. Washington. Yeah. Like, who, who was that? Was there another Whisper there and we missed it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We ain't got nothing in these wait. cups. I got no excuses no, today, right? Man. Yeah, man. man. It's gonna man. break me off some, though. Some Jameson. My. So that was dope. What about the rest of the weekend? Anybody else do anything fun? Obviously, Open Mike Spot was epic. It was a good show. But what about uh what Saturday? I chilled. I had to recuperate, man. What y'all do? Working. 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 I went to work. I went this, to work. Trying to get this Ming Cosmetics going, you know. Yeah. The work of a startup entrepreneur is like shit. Like man, I uh went and did another fifteen. I did a fifteen minutes. That shit is hard. Fifteen minutes. I get ten minutes time. in. I'm like, y'all, y'all still laughing? Y'all still here? <laughs> <laughs> y'all good? Like, yeah, yeah. fifteen. I don't know how people do an hour. And some um I was watching. Uh, an interview with um, the dude who plays Ashley Larry. I can't remember his name. Donnell Rollins. Donnell yeah. Rollins. Yeah. He uh -huh. was saying uh, Dave Chappelle already got another hour set already. I'm just, yeah. I'm like, man. I mean, time. Like 15 minutes is a long time. That's 15 minutes is a long time, it's but that was it. When, when I first started doing comedy in New York, Donnell was one of the first cats I opened up for, mm. man. I almost peed on myself, man. Oh, my like, God. Donnell Rollins, I was like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this was this was a, it was epic time. It was it was crazy. It was in Queens. It was another comic, Rip Michaels and stuff. And I had only been doing comedy for probably about four months. Four months. You know what I'm saying? Four. I was on open mics, mm -hmm. but I had an opportunity. Somebody was like, "Yeah, come through, open up." That's man, how I, I go. Was nervous. Mm -hmm. For sure. For oh, sure. Man. Mediocre set too, dog. I felt kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> You're trash. <laughs> You're trash. You're trash. Decent. It wasn't say. memorable. You know Get what I'm saying? Get off the stage. <laughs> yeah, right. Show right. It was the biggest stage I'd ever been on. You know, where, where you looking down on the people, it was elevated. It was one of oh, kind yeah, of okay. yeah. It was oh, it was yeah. a stage. Yeah. So mm. shout out to Donnie. I'm sorry, right. man. Give me another shot, dog. Have you ever been booed? <laughs> uh, I've never been booed. But oh, I've wow. gotten crickets thing. before. The most awkward yeah. comedy show ever. Yeah. Would you rather have that than to get booed? Uh, no, nah, booing, I think, is when you just like, I don't know. You at suck. least I'm making you feel something. You're Shit. Right. But I feel like people are <laughs> too, too nice now. I mean, at the Apollo, it was yeah. a thing to boo, but uh, I don't think nobody now is standing up, you know, boo, unless you're saying something that offends someone. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. your jokes right. or just trash your nasty. Mm. Then at that point, someone be like, hey, man, boo, and then you ain't even funny. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why. Man. It don't even be boo. It'd be like, oh, you trying to get killed? I mean, <laughs> you're right. saying a little too yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Um... I found out two of my friends are having babies. I'm very excited about that. I found out yesterday. Ooh, um, one is my best friend, and hers was planned. They've been trying for a while. 
the other one, she just was out here being a hoe. Um, <laughs> damn, damn. How do you Yeah, really feel? she yeah. she up here talking about some man, keep me in your prayers. Hey, what? Wow. I, oh, I, not I, the prayers. Y'all out here trying I mean, to pray the baby away. Right, no. Like, exactly. Man, <laughs> it she is. got pregnant and act like she's not a It is a life. way to get rid of a baby. <laughs> 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 they don't have to pray <laughs> on it. <laughs> Clearly, somebody ain't got $300. Eat. Okay, you <laughs> not, stupid. $300. But no, I'm like, nah, she's 32. Like, I was like, go ahead and have that baby, man. Just, yeah. I know the dude. He's that's he's too whack. old for accidental. He's baby, tra- so he's trash. So you saying she old? Shout out to no, I'm not saying she old. But go like, ahead and have that baby. But here's the, here's the thing, though. <laughs> Did she know he was trash before this? All this happened? Probably. You trash penis always. I mean, like good penis it is always attached. <laughs> <laughs> Good Ooh, penis is always I'm attached pregnant. to a trash man. I tell you, you be damn, like, damn, you I'm stuck. That sounds like somebody <laughs> reading on a shirt. Good penis is always attached to the wrong, really, to trash. Wow. You be you like, said trash man. I thought y'all wanted niggas with jobs. I mean, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so moving on from the the trash man attracts attached to good penis. Um, <laughs> let's get into our hot topics. Damn, I can't so. do that this weekend. Okay, oh, cool. my bad. What I'm sorry, Go ahead, talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it's fucking cool. My bad. Hot topics. Politics. Yeah. 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 I'll see. We like you though. We like you. I'll see you next Sunday. So, um, first, the WNBA slash CBA agreement. So, the collective bargaining agreement has a new eight-year CBA, which commences this year, uh, this season through 2027, which features significant investments from the league and its team aimed directly at increasing player salary and compensation improvements to overall player experience and resources designed with the professional female athlete mm. that's enough. in that's, mind. That's, that's clearly, enough. clearly, <laughs> wow. I they didn't get pick money. this topic. Yes, they, get, they get money. <laughs> it's a 53% right, right, right. increase yeah. in the total cash compensation. Yeah, they get so, money now. Yeah. That is well-deserved. Yeah. And if you didn't know, I, I played basketball myself. <laughs> 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 if you didn't know. <laughs> if you missed if it memo. wasn't obvious. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hooper. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I, I I wanted to bring it up because those ladies have been playing professionally for a long time and they were not getting no bread. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it was just unfair. So, yeah, because niggas be happy. Well, you yeah. heard that, fellas? It's time to trap your NBA WNBA player I now. Can't. I mean, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> hey, it's time to go and get up in there. Good, good luck. luck. Hey, don't do it. Oh, don't do oh, it. Don't do it. Not, you gotta not shoot your shot. At you least. don't want to be rude, but I feel like ninety nine point nine percent is. Not, not with the shit. Not with them. <laughs> hey. I feel like your, your percentage is off. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, it's 2020. Everybody's open. I, They're I looking mean, for yeah, some consistency. You know, you know what I'm saying? You never right. know until you shoot your shot. Right. 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 If you, you look, look like, like me, <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> However, they do occasionally look like them. Right, okay. Right, 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 right. So shoot your I shot. I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You never but know. But congratulations you never know. to the WNBA. Like, you know That's what I'm saying? That's good. They really yeah, with this new brave. agreement, they can earn like around three right. times what their current max is. So I mean, money. three oh, times, wow. your three coins. times nothing is always a lot. Right. <laughs> so, but my question, besides Kada, who else watches the WNBA? Wow, you a super hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ain't have to put I, that I out there. I like actually watch that. the WNBA. They watch yeah. it. There you oh, go. Like, one one other person who watches sports why? just because he likes sports. This is why they wasn't getting paid. See? <laughs> Come yeah. on, let's not do that. I'm like you did it. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm actually. I, mean, I plan on taking my daughter to a WNBA game. You soon. should, like, Real you know soon. what I'm saying. How old is she? She's seven out. years old. She should have been at a game. Let me, but let, me, but let, me be, let me be honest with y'all. Let me be open. Let me be honest with y'all. The real reason that I'm taking her is now, obviously I wanted her to see women in a good light and hooping and doing their thing too. But I had to check the prices on them Laker tickets first, nigga. And I was you like, God damn. Wow. Wow. Uh, 200 a person, baby. So you going to take her and be like, go see the this is sp- where the Lakers the really played on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you watching the Sparks, but this is where the, the Lakers played. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is better the anyway, baby. <laughs> Look at these women out here. Right. You know <laughs> Killing. No, I mean, I get thing. it. Like, low key, do you want to see... Bitches dunking like. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a question, K Dot. Yeah, well, to, to K Dot's point, though, I, I go to WNBA games, and most of the time you see dads and their daughters. Yeah, yeah, you don't it. see too many women um, at the WNBA games, so y'all should try to support. You know. No, I mm. do support. Like, but, uh, I ain't support nothing. But they don't market. <laughs> like, you know, what I'm saying, look how much branding and marketing is for the NBA. NBA. Yeah. Like, you right, know, right, what I'm right. saying, but clearly mm. somebody making money off the WNBA. Oh, for sure. Because it exists. Right, so my sure. thing is like. You know, pay these women. They pay you getting paid off of them. Pay these women. Right. You know well, what I'm saying? Well. You can get more money. <laughs> 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 
Man, what's up? Just for that, bitch, I'm going to take you to a WNBA game. And we all go. Let's all go. Because for about $90, we can probably be right up. He said $90. Right up in the, I'm trying to. All right. $90 all together. All right. making these jokes with us. I want to go. With a six foot ten bitch be at your comedy uh, show. <laughs> I'm with, the, I'm with the shit. So what you say about the WNBA? I, I love it. I I'm going. Exactly. exactly. A whole different you, Hey, you cannot hate on me for she appreciating ain't gonna punk the price point. That's it. It doesn't even have to be the NBA. We could have been talking about arena football. They can get yeah. it too. I go oh, to arena game. Yeah. Let's go. I know a lot of hood niggas that's in the arena yeah. football. You know hey, you watching that hood. Yeah. Right. Right. find you a hood. How many? Hey, she <laughs> said she know a lot of them. How many games you hit up? I've been like two, but that was when I, I, I was, somebody I was dating was doing arena football. That's the only reason. You, so you was on the fence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Patty fence. Go, baby. Like that meme from Arthur from the DW. She was looking out the fence. Uh, was the fence. He going to make it to the league. That's my boo. One day he going to get in there. Right. Lord. Um, arena football. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Mm. So, Bad Boys for Life was released. Bad who? This weekend. Bad Boys for Life. Oh, oh, yeah. I Bad Boys for it. Life. It came out this I heard weekend. it's good. Um, it's good. So, including the Thursday night, so far, the first date, it made $23.5 million. No, that's a surprise. Ooh. Good job. Good job. Um, that's what's up. Bad Boys. Yeah. Bad Boys. So, Will and Mark was fat, on the... Uh, fat Boys now. Stop. <laughs> They're not oh, that bad. <laughs> They're not that bad. <laughs> that bank account fat, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's so, that's fat. all that yeah. matters. So, they had a Breakfast Club interview, uh, Will and Martin. Um, so, so how do y'all think that was? I think it was pretty cool. It was a good interview, good man. Interview. Yeah, it was cool. It was good to see for me being just a kid who saw both of them, you know what I'm saying, at Martin and the Fresh Prince. It was mm-hmm. good to see them still sitting together, still working, still creating, and, and able to still get along, even though it was both different. Man, did you see how they asked them which whose show was the better? You know, yeah. show? I was like, oh, shit. Man, yeah. Martin. That don't was, hurt no feelings. Right. This has been Will Smith's <laughs> press run. Martin is, yeah. I don't know, he... I don't know. He's just like, maybe he's an introvert or he something. He is, because he was yeah. so chill. He, he don't like talk. He was, I was like, talk. this is Will's interview. Um, yeah. like, I thought it was really Do you good. know, like, have you known? I haven't known Martin to be a mm-hmm. uh, mass interviewer. Mm-hmm. Even yeah, 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 yeah. his yeah. career. That's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, when he was at the height, I was a child, so I wasn't Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Attention. So, like, but you... You follow Will Smith, right? Mm-hmm. See, yeah. when, she, when she started watching Martin, there was all reruns at yeah. that time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You, know what I'm you was there from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now she's going to make us feel old. Oh, yeah. So he grew up. From the foundation. She ain't even seen a thing live between love and hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Unless they aired on BET or something. Yeah, like I, I watched it on Netflix on the flight one time. What an air best movie. She don't even know. <laughs> you probably worked at Blockbuster. Uh, oh, my <laughs> Not yeah. Blockbuster. I read it to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bitch. <laughs> she said she was stealing them tapes. She was stealing them tapes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Remember that seven day rentals? Like who's watching shit for seven days? Yeah. 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 Black Nobody. people. Yeah. Black people and keeping it. <laughs> and my right. my auntie still got Blockbuster <laughs> <laughs> movie Damn. DVDs. This is um, not the cover to this movie. <laughs> Take this back. <laughs> But no, I thought the interview was really, really was good. It was. Um, r- really, uh, you know, we'll be saying some stuff, man. Mm-hmm. He be this whole press one. He's been like dropping gems, and the the best thing that I heard him say was, um, "You can't, you can't over succeed your way out of." Childhood trauma. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you try to outwork and with just success. Yeah. And if I just do this, all that stuff isn't gonna be a problem. You yeah, don't have yeah. to deal with it. But yeah. it's gonna haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like I've heard him say before in other interviews, like you'll be looking for somebody in the crowd who's not there. Like you mm-hmm. want you looking for somebody in the you know, cheering section that's never gonna be there. Mm-hmm. You know, your whatever your childhood trauma is. And that shit was deep to me. Cause I be doing that too, thinking like Y'all don't well, know. I used to be much heavier, and I was heavy all through like my youth and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, I be doing that in my head, like I'm gonna get to this level, and I'm gonna shit on them, I'm gonna mm-hmm. show them, da da da. And uh, you know, you can't do that. Like no, you're gonna you get there and still not be right. happy. You'll always be that person. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Because that's who made you. Like yeah. that's what motivates you to be who you're trying Growing. to be. Yeah, yeah. Who you're yeah. trying to be. So you just mm-hmm. gotta like, you just gotta remember like. Everybody who talked to me when I was about me when I was little, they still feel the same way. So yeah. I can't be successful and be like, yeah, look at my big eyed ass now. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. They don't care. But, oh yeah. my God. 
my I'm God. Saying. And as crazy as it sounds, it's weird, though, but that's mm. what a lot of us do, though. We, mm. It's those those childhood memories that mm. we feel like we have to go and yeah. you know, burst out of. I feel like for a lot of people, uh, it's mostly probably black people. Yeah. White, people probably don't, white people probably they don't walk around here like they got something to prove to anybody. You know what I'm saying? They Sometimes they just maybe a little bit more, you know, chill. But yeah. I think for black people especially, it's kind of like, nah, like, I'm going to shine. You're going to see it. Mm. We're going to Snapchat that shit. You ever see yeah. one of your followers go on vacation and never went nowhere before? Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole the time, most. nigga. We're like, you this shit like, ain't necessary. You can't even swim. <laughs> like, why you the carousel? I'm on the tarmac. Wow. I'm getting up. <laughs> I'm going to like, man, <laughs> I need to know your know. every move. It's not that. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. You Show finally got your passport. Vacation. Okay, right. finally out <laughs> here. Relax. But, um, I'm just not finna get mine, so I, I get it too. I've been, I'm one trash. Of I've like, had my passport I, since 12, nigga. Oh, nice. I've been out here, nice. man. AKA, you know, military baby, but still, I was Word. out here. She said, I've been out here. <laughs> Girl, bye. They was just packing you up. That's <laughs> <laughs> we moving. Oh, that's funny. But uh, which show did we prefer, Fresh Prince or Martin? Ah. Man, Martin for me, all day, Martin, every day. Yeah. For me, I can't really get with Fresh, Fresh Prince. Fresh like Prince. Fresh Prince. Really? Somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. So I love because because you, you had a two parent family exactly mm. yeah for real too. What'd you no, no 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 oh, you did for two yeah. oh well oh, 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 okay. oh, 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 I had a two parent household I had a stable let me touch my pearl ooh <laughs> shit I can't tell <laughs> 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 judge shit. me yeah, um, I like Martin too yeah man. I definitely had to say Martin was Fresh good was cool, because it was it was funny and he had all these different characters but I feel like Fresh Prince was more of a well-rounded show yeah, where it, it had jokes, it had right. a message, right. and all of that stuff. Yep. And that, watch it with the whole fam. I couldn't more relate. More. I mean, <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. Like, I couldn't relate to Fresh Prince, so that's why it wasn't as funny to me. Yeah. But like, I could relate to Martin because I knew somebody who may have been Shanae or right. somebody mm-hmm. like right, that. Right. Like, that's good. Nigga, I don't know. I didn't know nobody with no butler. <laughs> a black one at that. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think that was one of the concepts of the show, though. It was mm. to show a new aspect yeah. of black people, people in a new light yeah. Yeah. that we haven't seen before. And I think for for me too, it was kind of cool seeing black people that kind of had money, had it going. Mm-hmm. I was kind of like, oh shit, okay. But oh, I mean, you know, what's going to get thrown out the house? I was like, oh, shit, they, oh. this is huge. What so did y'all cool. think? <laughs> Do y'all remember when they changed Aunt Viv's? Ah, uh, <laughs> we were upset. That, that first on Viv was handsome. Um, I see <laughs> why it changed. Oh, so she got some strong feet. <laughs> when she hit the low about Bob, like she, yeah. them shoulders was strong. I was like, see, oh, and that's why they should. What a, they what a handsome changed. woman. Oh, they should have so changed on Viv. Damn, colorism is still <laughs> going on. Uh, right. They didn't even Living try through. and get like an on Viv that kind of looked, looked like the like other one. They was like, let's go light skin. Well, Family Matters got rid of a whole kid. Like, oh, right, yeah. Right, right, right. right, right. right. The, the, remember, he had, he had a little Richie. sister. Uh, little Richie? No, on Family Matters. He had a little Richie? No. Laura, Laura that was, and, uh, and they had, had a little sister. They had a little, they had a little sister. sister. She, oh, yeah. She well, went he, upstairs he after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kid. God. Y'all blowing my mind on that Wednesday. Yes. Girl. yes. So Dead. Like, no, I'm just joking. Yeah. 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 Like, she had no she ones. Did. Oh, somebody said she did porn or something. Whoa, no, maybe that was somebody else. Not somebody. You finna have our the followers. Internet. Look <laughs> the internet. The internet. Porn. Damn. Did porn. Damn. Well, let's get H and S's two cents. You prefer Martin or Fresh Prince? Right. Yeah, yeah. You prefer Black Bear, but light skin. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Martin. Uh, yeah. Just because it was good to see Black Love on TV. That's what's up. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I think yeah. that everybody with a light that. skin girl. I see what you're talking hey. about. Okay. I mean, but you I have Pam. You have Pam and Tommy. Yeah, exactly. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Cole and Big, Cole and, and, uh, Big, Big Shirley. Shirley. Yeah. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> they would make the whole room shake. Right. Dang. That type of show wouldn't you sit well now. No more. <laughs> Probably, all right. Probably not. I'm only working through trauma and shit. Fuck. Um. That is so funny. I, I mean, Martin was a good, very good show. What was your favorite episode? Everybody has a favorite episode. Man, oh, the shit. New Jack City too one. Many. Oh, uh, with yes. the dog. <laughs> 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 and when that dog fell over, oh, he was boy. like, stay. Yeah. I was cracking <laughs> up. That's hilarious. That, that is. was a funny one. I like the one where he had to go to the DMV. Oh, oh yeah. And the guy got out of And the dude, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, I'm just going to peel. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the dude was like, hey, uh, what is it, brown sugar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, hey, it's like brown chocolate. Sugar. I can't remember. Chocolate, chocolate almond, chocolate almond, 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 chocolate almond, almond, almond some shit. I'm like, oh, oh no. Billy Let Evans. Oh, Evans. no. Let me tell y'all something. Just side note. Side note. Side note. Gay niggas don't get it straight men like that. That's true. Oh, yeah, of course. So I'm sorry, gay men. I said gay niggas. Yeah, y'all know. 
Yeah, just straight dudes always think a gay dude like, like that's it's like, very exaggerated. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think now they just make conversation and act like you cool, and then one day just yeah. I don't know, really. grab your hand or something. I'm not really and sure. The thing what about the, it is, <laughs> your hand. But no, <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> We've been talking for eight months. But it's not like, <laughs> it's not like that no more. You're right. But I don't think it was ever like that where gay men were going at no, I mean, straight men. It was for comedic purposes. Right, yeah, of course, right, but they don't. Right. Some people really think that's, that's how it be, and it's like no, there. That's a whole community and they usually as far as dating will stay in that you will have some gay dudes who purposely go after straight men right. i have a friend who does that and um bring him on the show but uh yeah most of the mm. time it don't happen that way but that was man i was a good my favorite character uh Ooh, martin so. was um black bell jones black bell right? Jones. <laughs> Dragonfly, yeah. no. oh, Dragonfly, Dragonfly. 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 <laughs> He's going to come by. It's a pleasure for you to meet me. Like, sir, what are you talking about? What? Like, no. Silence. You are Silence. Silence. <laughs> you are Silence. Where's the <laughs> Nah, yes. And no, pretty much a... anything that Jerome was in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Jerome was, was funny. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> if church time. socks pulled all the way up, he was oh, hilarious. Shanaynay, Shanaynay is in for me. Yes. Oh, hilarious. That was hilarious. Too classic, though. That's, that's cool. What about uh, Fresh Prince when uh, Will got shot? <laughs> that oh, was, was so dramatic. Yeah, yeah. He had some touchy moments on Fresh Prince. He had some tear-droppers yeah. in that show, for sure. When he didn't oh. have a dad. Ooh, shit. I, I, still, I got a dad, and I still Ooh. cry about that. <laughs> hey, when he, when he hey, throw hey, 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 Everybody throat clogged up. He yeah. said, how come he don't want me, man? Yeah. Oh, like, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, because that nigga's Ben Vereen. Ben Vereen. I remember crying hard off of that, and my brother was like, your parents are in the other room. Like, you can't relate to this, you middle class ass bitch. Like, that's stop. the acting though that you were affected Man, like that. I did that that was one of the first monologues I ever did when oh I every acting, nigga everybody, everybody got that shit on their phone somewhere every nigga does can't think of shit else remember the episode where Carlton uh, got hood he oh, left yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. And he had what the brew he <laughs> yeah, had the brew <laughs> he had the little yeah but he still had like a silk shirt on yeah. I was just like my nigga you housing or you gangbang I know <laughs> And shit, where man. they say he was going? Uh, what park is that? Uh, Some park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, like, yeah. MacArthur like, Park. MacArthur Park. She yeah. was like, MacArthur Park. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when I was going to move out here. <laughs> <laughs> you <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> MacArthur Park. <laughs> I, I seen an apartment for like eight hundred dollars, <laughs> but it was across from MacArthur Park, and I was like, uh, I'm like <laughs> "You see what you did, Will? You saved it, and then she moved to the valley. Oh, no. I'm, oh, going to oh, I'm, going, I'm going to No Ho. I'm going to No Ho. Oh man, Carlton got his teardrops in MacArthur Red, Park, man. We can't go there. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to see Martin is still very big, mm-hmm. and I'm bringing this up because they were saying how. Uh, Will Smith might have got paid more than Martin. Mm. And so it's so weird to see from when the first Bad Boys was to now, it's like Will is clearly the star out of both of them. You know mm. what I mean? Or as far as bo- uh, box office mm-hmm. yeah. money and stuff. So it's just weird because mm. Martin at that time was right. the shit. Right. right. And then he did all them bad movies. But, here, but you bring up a really good point. And this, is, <laughs> this is for all of the comics and all of the uh, potential entertainers and all that shit. But Will said also something too. Like He's like, I want to wake up every day and feel good about me and feel good about my life and feel about where I am and feel mm-hmm. about where... The moment you start to start comparing and all that kind of stuff, I mm-hmm. guess that's where it goes crazy because mm-hmm. Martin just has to embrace... His process and where mm-hmm. he is right. and what he has accomplished and what he did mm-hmm. do. The moment he start comparing mm-hmm. the box office, he's gonna feel like a loser. And there's no reason why Martin yeah. should feel right. anywhere close right. to, you know what I'm saying? That just because their their, you know, paths were a little different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm That's like, true. I mean, I personally feel that like we're different. Like, we'll just maneuver better. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but at the end of the day, like Rich is rich. Like mm-hmm. to me, there's no level of shit. yeah. The yeah. money is. The I think money. it is until you I get think rich. there is because fucking people sending. Uh, what was that shit? Jay Z sent like an expensive bottle, yeah, yeah. like a five thousand oh, dollar bottle yeah. to all his friends, I and mean, that was like, his invitation. It was a. It was a uh, Rolex. A ro- Rolex. Right. That's that's wow. a different level of rich. Yeah, <laughs> but just saying, like, but he and it makes it. a difference. But like, yeah. right. But any you, like when you ain't got nothing, right. Any like I'm just I'm speaking on me like mm-hmm. any level of like I'll never compare because I'll be like I'm in a I'm in right. a better situation right. than I ever was in right. before right. Right. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah, I that's think true. that's what Will was saying like right. as far as like I want to feel good about me and like what mm-hmm. I'm doing like mm-hmm. 
it ain't about comparing. It's about being content. Exactly. Like, be content with what you got. Exactly. Like, once you're not content with what you have, then you unhappy. Exactly. Yeah. It don't matter about the money, in yeah. my opinion. That's yeah. what you're dropping, Joe. No, that's okay. exactly right. Yeah. That's yeah. Still yeah. Like, yeah. Right once there. you get rich, like, once I'm rich, I'm rich. Like, yeah. I'm not broke no more. For me, it's like, once I can pay my bills on time, shit, I'm happy. Okay. Right. 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 Yeah, that's true. That's it. It was, it's um crazy they asked him on there, oh, would you, do you care that you're still banned from SNL? And he was like, I don't give a no, fuck. Yeah, like, fuck. And that blew my mind because as a comedian, that's one of our, mm-hmm. one of the things on your bucket list or that mm-hmm. you want to work for SNL. What did he get banned from SNL for? He didn't get banned from SNL. I think he got banned from the from station. The station. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they ended up later apologizing. And it was something oh. that mm-hmm. went wrong when he was supposed to do SNL. Oh, yeah, he's good. But, it blows my mom like he don't give a fuck about SNL. Like, I, I guess when you get to a certain place and you mm-hmm. do um, pretty much think everything that you want to achieve, certain things don't right. mean as much. But I don't think SNL is remotely as funny now as it used to be anyway. Yeah. No, it's just it's just a right one of those, check yeah, off of your yeah, yeah, off yeah. of your one of those things to thing, do. I guess. Yeah, if that's on your list. Yeah, if it's, like, if it's on your list, but that's the thing. It. Everybody starts worrying about what should be yeah. on his list. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, At yeah. the end of the day, when it comes back to what you said about just being content, he's like, I ain't worried about that shit. Right. They ask Martin, is like, Martin, is Netflix hit you up? You think about doing Netflix plays? He was like, Yeah, maybe we might get get to. I'm sure I can maybe do one if mm-hmm, I wanted to, mm-hmm. but. I want it to be right. And I, hey, Martin, salute to you for waiting till it's right because you know how it is for some comics that take some time off and then come back. Oh, yeah. Hey, or you know. Do anything Question. for a check. Yeah. You want it to be right. Stress is stress. So, if you're stressing, you, you stressing. So. Question, is Martin Lawrence on your list of a top five comics? God damn it, we're not finna do this, <laughs> are we? He's Say it. <laughs> Say it. He's not on mine. Of course he's not. You're we talking about top generation. five comics of all time. I'm sorry, what? Happened? Top five comics of all time. Is Martin Lawrence on your list? Oh, God. Of course. Yeah. Oh, no, not on mine. Yeah. Uh, as a, as a comic, I don't doing? think you should say that on who, Guess who's going to go get in the right. movies with Martin? <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> in, I mean okay, he's, on my, he's in my top <laughs> ten, but he's not in my top five. Good I don't, job, I don't even think he would put himself in the top five. Oh, my God. Mm. We're speaking on somebody else. I'm just saying. He <laughs> seems like. He, going left. Just, he go seems, ahead, he, no, I'm he saying. He seems, top five. He seems yeah, like a humble. Now we're going to be on top five. Now we're going to top five. He seems like a humble dude. Like, he know that there are comics that are better than him. What? Everybody knows their comics right. that are better than or them. much better. But again, we're going back to Whisper. I'm dying to hear this now. Who okay. Martin until when, whenever? So were you? Did you How even see Def Comedy Jam? Dare you? I, I, I have yeah, seen Def Comedy Jam. Right, Def Comedy Jam, right. <laughs> the original Def Comedy Jam. Okay, yeah. that was a you different gotta, time. You gotta, you gotta know That's what I'm where saying. Like went. you have to make sure you make sure you say it was a different time. It was oh, a different man. time. So yeah, like, yeah, his expectation probably wouldn't be on your to be on your list. Right. Maybe for the people. Yeah. Okay. For the people. It's definitely. You grew up too. with a comedian, All, so you I just have wanna, a very I need to, That's why I'm a little offended by this, but I need to hear <laughs> but it's top five. Man. We got to hear my top, top five. five man. Right. I don't even think I have a top five. Uh, I would but say... But you know Martin ain't in it. I'm sorry, Martin. God <laughs> damn. Yeah. I mean, he's there. not somebody who I'm like, I want to go watch them and study them. So who, if you got I free tickets to go see anybody... Who's your top three? What's your top three? Who's your top three? Free tickets, who you want to go see right now? Bernie Mac. Okay. Respect. Yeah. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Patrice O'Neal. Okay. okay. That's a good top that's a good top three. A good, I can't that's, 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 that's a good three. top three. And all of their styles are st- completely different from mine. So I like to watch other people and see how they work and see what make how they make people laugh. Can you do two more after that? Now I'm really interested to hear a five. Are we together <sighs> I can't even think of a five. <laughs> uh Amanda Seals is definitely on, on my list. That's funny. Generation, yeah. Yeah. yeah and <clears throat> I can't think of like somebody who I would put as like the best. I can't think of another a fifth one. It'll come mm. to me. One mm. will come to me. Well, my gaps. My fifth I one will come funny. to me. <laughs> I, think, I think my gaps is hilarious. I think he's funny. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for it to come to right. uh let's get Yeah, into y'all can go. Y'all talk about John's top shit. Uh, y'all <laughs> okay. putting the pressure uh, on me. Uh, yeah. Everybody I mean, when you started right. it with the... Uh, yeah, with the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> out there, they had to see what your thinking was. Uh, at the end of we're going to let this... No debate. No debate. Y'all just going with it. That was a solid three. Okay. Solid. Bernie Mac solid. I've always been a big fan of Bernie and all of that, so... It would it would go super deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Comedic style. While, like, stand-up, man, you can... Eddie Murphy is yeah definitely. Can, can you me, five. Dot, as a as a comic, can we get you a top five, please? I won't give you my top five. I'll give you my top three. three. Okay. okay. Eddie Murphy, and this is me because like I like to go based on like stand up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy, 
Robin Harris, and y'all probably don't know who that I is. I know who that is, yeah. And Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Because Dave Chappelle, they jokes, but they be knowledge. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. pay attention. So yeah. those are my top three. Charlie? So, not a thing about me, man. We this is about you. Next, next he thing? don't be one to more All right. All right. <laughs> or, or, no, I got a question. It's just, it, okay, you have to answer this one since you didn't want to do the other but one. I, I really like your top three. Okay. I say, I, I so honestly, I like you got to answer three. this question. Who is a very known and paid comic, mm-hmm. but you think they're overrated? Why would she even put me in this <laughs> position? Yeah, I would Why would she that. even do that? Don't answer it. See, Go ahead. See that? I'm the new kid Don't out feel here. pressure, Charlie. You don't have to answer it. Who or just, a, just, a, comic, <laughs> just like, a comic you think is overrated and is overhyped. <sighs> you a comic. You can say whatever. But, my well, facts. I'm just trying to think about who. Because here, here's here's why I, I, I have a hard time with that. It's because it's hard for me to say that someone's not funny or overrated. He always comes with the political. Because they're getting bread. They're making thing, money. They're making money. That's like a stuff they bread. Like, I'll say who I'll who I think is if you say who yours mm-hmm. is and I won't feel no type of way mm-hmm. about it but I'm not going to be maybe, the first person maybe we could rephrase it because I feel where Charlie's uh, yeah, coming from so maybe we could it. say what type what uh, big comedian right now is just not your type of comedy okay okay. Yeah, okay. That maybe not my answer. that's yeah. not what the question that but I but I think asked. there's a lot of, I think there's <laughs> a lot of <laughs> we, we can't say overrated because but think we're, about not all, saying, we're not consensus of what the level of overrated right. is right, so right, like right. no we can't say Man, somebody's overrated. they don't want to play no type of game she, she, she they, she are, they, they want to get the hands dirty, dirty. Not no type of game. at the end of the day like you ain't gonna stop put it my this bread way. Put it this yeah, way. Put it this way. Like, of all the Netflix specials that are on Netflix, we don't watch them all. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of them. But there's going to be some people that you just don't feel like, ah, I may not watch it. Ah, they, they yeah. cool. Or ah, if I but watch I'll it, cool, it's not going to be a big deal. For like, sure. Everybody's not everybody's cup of tea. I'll right. be like, what are you? Right. I'm not watching that because you're not funny to me. But there's certain right. people that's going to be like, I'm right. going to watch it. Like Chris Rock special, I, I, I'm going to watch it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike Dion Cole, I'm a fan of his special. Oh, I want to see that. I like his, you know, he's a good writer. So good content. I'm a fan of Dion. I'm, I'm going to watch it. You want some controversy? You know what I'm saying? She wants some controversy. She wants some. No, I don't, don't want, I don't want no Put controversy. Me. I just saw. Me. Mike Epps, I'm going to see it. You got we the energy. Right, so I'm going to bring it. Did Charlie, did you give your top three? No, no, I didn't. no, he's. See, I'm trying to. I'm ahead. trying to be politician. You said you didn't want to answer it. I said I like a top three. I'm just gonna. You, know you just gonna go with my. All right, so uh, moving on because yeah, you're being scary. Yeah. So um, interesting. See? See? <laughs> interesting story. So, the governor of Utah <laughs> halts distribution of condoms with suggestive slogans slash humor that were part of a campaign for HIV prevention, stating. He understands the importance of safe sex promotion, but he doesn't approve of sexual innuendo as part of a tax player, taxpayer funded campaign. My nigga, it's because it's a And Mormon he's asked for a campaign state. rebranding. They're Mormons. Today. I'm confused. Like, if it's condoms, dude, like anything is going to be sexual innuendo. So no, it's they like, said as long stuff. as they're using it. Did right. You, did you say but I thought it was funny. Yeah, what like some like some examples was like on one of the packages there was a picture of a bed and it said this is the place and another one it had mountains on it and it said enjoy your mountain M O U N T I N and he and thought one they would of be them offended. said like is Utah but it was like all with right. the U in toss yeah. sex. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so I, thought, so I, thought, yeah, I thought it was cool. Like I did too. I'm like, like what's the problem? As long as people use it, but, like it's fine. But I'm not surprised. Like BYU makes their players sign. Um, what do you call those? Purity, purity. No. Yeah, like purity. Uh, they can't have sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, man. So mm-hmm. he would have been okay with pr- the promotion of safe sex, but they can't have slogans on them. What, what, they like, feel like that was confused. overselling it or something. Yeah, he just mm-hmm. felt like it was inappropriate He's allegedly able, to have the the sexual jokes on it. <clears throat> Oh, okay. I feel like if you're looking at condoms, you might as well see, you know, what, whatever well, nigga, it says. On yeah. it. The niggas don't even, if you don't ask, they probably ain't pulling no condom out. Exactly. Like, this cool condom. You want. <laughs> <laughs> Look at right. the caption on it. Right. Yeah. I can't. I'm going to put this in you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dude's That's little, Utah. Clearly, Utah. Utah, they be really thinking too much. Exactly. Into yeah. They're, yeah. Trying to promote, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to promote, you know, kids' Just buying Just let them, it happen. Younger people trying to make it catchier. Right. Well, I mean, so, okay, I, thought it was, that I thought it was funny. I thought the kids would probably enjoy it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know. But apparently not. He was being a hater. But so. low key, who fucking in Utah? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ain't no, nothing else to do. That's where all <laughs> right. the sister wives wow. and shit is. Somebody got they got like one. five fucking kids <laughs> per wife. Oh, no. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody mm-hmm. reading them condoms. No. Ain't nobody not. opening them condoms. I can't. <laughs> all right. But, so. Okay. Agnes said we need to take yeah. a break. We're going to take a break for like five minutes or so, y'all. Maybe right. more, maybe less, but <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. Bye. Peace. Skirt.
Mexico. We have two big comedy shows. A lot of comedians on the show. You're going to love it. And we're also doing a blue pajama jam. That's blue pajama jam. Where everybody got to wear blue because it's his birthday. You got to wear it too. Anyway, or you can come to my game night with Shelly Rio, which is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so she said. <laughs> we're also going to have our girl Alice is doing a workout. So you can get your workout on, have some fun, and enjoy yourself on vacation. Again, it's going down July 30th to August 2nd. Leaving out of Long Beach, going to Ensenada, Mexico. Yeah, so make sure you get your deposits in. You have less than 30 days before they go up. So all you have to do is email rolloutdigital at gmail.com. That's rolloutdigital at gmail.com. See you on the cruise. Cuz you trying to take my bike. Oh, Shorty Joe, what type of punch was that? I'm going to your ass better. Yeah, he was talking about me. What you 
you say when he said that? You ain't even get him, you ain't even scrap. I don't see a bruise, I don't see a scratch. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. Tell your partner something, he run his mouth. Put him on the lid, sleep on the couch. That's why I trust me. Dude's five for my granny, but it's rusty. Adios on that bread, just like lunch me. Get hung like a rope if you jump me. Hunting, we go hunting. And we treat a lion like a turkey. Hurt me, you can't hurt me. Two, two, three, going through Hercules. Let me pop it. Adios trying to pass, I stop Before rap in the trap, I was robbers. Now I beat the beat up like I'm Hopkins. You was broke, no help, yeah, me too. All the fake love, I can see through. You there, now they need you. Young Guns of Comedy. I'm one of your co-hosts, Fatima Ming. To my left, we got Fee hey, Face. Doc. <laughs> and we got Whisper. Um, and on the end, we got Hey, Charlie Wilson TV, baby. Behind the glass curtain, we got h &S in the building. Shalom to the people. <laughs> so, <sighs> let's get right back into it. Um, Let's find out today. What's wrong <laughs> with K-Dot? Oh, so this is my segment? Yes, ma'am. I can't. My bad, my bad. <laughs> We was talking about all the basketball stuff. No, the uh, comedy mm. stuff. No, I got, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to go back to that, but yeah, go ahead and do your second. Oh, back. you know, what's wrong with K-Dot? <laughs> Just normal, you know. So, I always try to, like, give y'all a little title to my segment, which is, like, <laughs> things that happen to me, and I try to give the disclaimers and, you know, warnings to people. So, this week is called Titles. They don't pay you enough. <laughs> 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 so, you know, I corporate thug. My grind is in corporate America, and you know, in corporate America, some people take their titles a little bit too seriously. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. And then for me, it just signifies how much money you make. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make anything else to me. If you are a manager, if you are a supervisor, mm -hmm. none of that means anything to me, and I think I should tell you Damn. before you approach me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> some things happen. Uh -uh. People don't know how to talk to people at the job. Uh -uh. Oh, that's always fun. So I had to let them know you only this person at the job. I've seen you outside of the job, and remember that your title do not follow you outside of the job. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and take that how you want. So, what's wrong with K dot? Just remember titles. They don't pay you enough. <laughs> hey, to all K dot <laughs> bosses that. and managers, watch y'all back. That's what it sounds <laughs> like. Much. Keep that's talking that shit. <laughs> right. I'm gonna keep giving disclaimers. Right. <laughs> See me in these streets with that shit if you want to. You know right. What I'm you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Because you just regular old Joe Smoke. Right, 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 right. right. But That's you know, funny. we can get back into that controversy. Like. Okay, no, because somebody said this in uh, Mike Hard. He said, women. Pause. Uh, something. <laughs> women ain't funny. That's what he said. Oh shit. Women so ain't so let's he talk said about women ain't funny. Women ain't funny. Well, first of all, nigga, mm. did you finish school? Shut Damn, up. I can't. Damn. Shit. 
Why? Why you think women? Hold on. Shout out to Shakia Green. Okay. She just shot. She shouted me out in the chat room. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, shout Um, out! Shout out to Shelly Rio. She made. Oh yes, I was gonna say that. She made our cups with all of our names and our sayings on it. Yeah, (laughs) hilarious. Can I take mine home? I want to go home. And it's a real cup. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I was so pleased to see that. So Mm -hmm. yeah, gotta keep these drones. But yeah, so (laughs) women ain't funny. Mm. Okay. Really, my G? Like, <laughs> like there are hella women ain't funny. God damn it, every time. There's I mean, hella the, funny women. Do you think women ain't funny? <laughs> women comedians? Yeah. Nah, yeah, nah, I think, I think it's women harder for us. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there are definitely some women that are funny. Like, why don't you guys give your your top two favorite female comedians? Well, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, but. Can't <laughs> do it. Do it, KDZ. No, I could, mm. but just I don't know. They're all different. We got a few minutes. Put it out there. Um, Samora is one of my top, top. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. she's okay. she's hilarious. Very underrated. It's weird because I I don't. She's still very big and torn, but she's torn and stuff. I just mm-hmm. don't understand why she didn't have a show or some something. Like I don't she even think she ever got that opportunity. It, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but yeah, she's definitely funny. Samora, yeah, funny. Samora yeah, I think it just there. takes more work for a woman to really create a lane and a name for herself and to be out here and to really sustain and have those types of opportunities that we're all starting to kind of see more of now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. think about like Lunel. Lunel's been in the game for a while. She's got yeah, a recognizable yeah, yeah. name. She's been on tours. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? She's had some TV roles and TV opportunities. But, you know, it, it, it's work, man, because a lot of people are skeptical or maybe more optimistic of women. But I think if you go and, and see more women in comedy, I think a lot of people will be surprised. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And like Whisper, one of your uh, top Amanda Seals, I've seen her stand up, and she's hilarious. So. She's hilarious, and oh she's and she's very relatable. Mm-hmm. Um, which I think I think that's one of the things that make comics you think Monique big. Is funny. You said Monique. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, at times, yeah. sometimes. At times, Tiffany yeah. Haddish. No. Mm. Damn. No. I didn't even finish like this. <laughs> <It's my opinion. laughs> I was like, no. Mm-mm. So, amendment to what Mike Hart said. He said that women can be funny in a comedic role, which mm-hmm. I agree with him with Tiffany Haddish. I mm-hmm. think she's more funny if she's in a role that's funny of versus her stand-up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel her like stand-up can be... You know, um, it's good, though. It's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Because, good. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you're funny enough for people mm-hmm. to come out and see you and mm-hmm. you and get those ticket sales, you're going to do comedy. But, uh, obviously, we're going to you know, kind of talk about the levels in which... How bad you're mm-hmm. killing it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? By the end of the day, you, you still can be successful at it. But I think black people, mm-hmm. we're just we're we're kind of tough, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In terms of how funny you have to be to kill it. But back on the Tiffany tough Haddish, tough or judgy? We're judgy. <laughs> we're very judgy. Yeah. Tough and yeah. judgy. But did y'all see Tiffany? Uh, she did the special on um, Netflix. I just think with she did other do, women. She, I, I just think that was good. Yeah. That My was girl Ada Rodriguez up. was on there. Shout out to yeah. Ada Rodriguez. She's a funny comic. Shante Wayne was on there. Shante Wayne is hilarious. If you haven't seen her perform, I think she's funny as shit. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. definitely check her out, both of them, mm-hmm. uh, on their shows, on their tours. Check them out. I think that was good that Tiffany Haddish did. Uh, I thought she was going to bring up Black Miss because I haven't seen that. Whoa. Before. That was uh, not the best, but, mm-hmm. you know, we try. Black Mitzvah. That's a new one. On that was that's her last name. Exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Niggas said, who? Uh, she had what? Two Netflix specials now? Yeah, she's had two Black Miss mm-hmm. I didn't see the last mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. But it ain't, if, from what I'm saying, hearing is she putting other people on, right? Right. That's and that's all right. that matters. Right. Okay. That's right. all that matters. Right. She's putting up on putting other people. Because on. here's the here's the difference though. Are there other women that are out here on stages, funnier and killing it more than her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, it, it, I feel like the game is so much more about just that. Yeah. You got to be able to have those that name, your brand. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? To be able to to sell that's, to sell over there. Hopefully, that's the game. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why you gotta be a package, you know what no, I'm saying? I, mean, I get that, but, but like, that's why Will Smith and Martin, like those yeah, levels, you gotta be a package, you gotta be marketable. It mm-hmm. took them to like for me, it's just like everybody want money too bad, mm-hmm. so you're not passionate about your craft, mm-hmm. so you're right. not making it as good as it possibly could, could be, be, yeah, because you trying to just get to the money, get to the money, get mm-hmm. to the money. That's how like, I feel about uh Kevin Hart, like his like comedy now is not as funny as when he first started because he was hungry. It's like now you got, yeah, I mean, no, got I mean, his comedy so changed because his, his money changed, right? right. 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 His life changed, yeah, yeah. Life right. changed. He, he couldn't be funny about the same stuff exactly, no more because exactly. he wasn't right. doing that no right. more, right. And, and that's cool. I, and we take people take for granted how hard it is to. Think of funny, unique right. things to say, right, right. and then grind that out to make everybody in a in a stadium laugh. Right. You know what I mean? So Kevin Hart, like, I, I give him a little. I got bit I got, of a I got a lot of respect for Kevin Hart. Let me just say this because of 
those different comedy specials that we've seen mm -hmm. from all the, oh, no, and then all of that shit. Like, we were there as his life was there, too. Now he had this cheating incident with that, that he went through, right? Mm -hmm. That last special, he talked about that shit. He owned that shit. He spit it out. He told yeah. us kind of what it was from that experience. Because he can make it funny. Like, exactly. That's, that's but that's what, that's what you got to do. Yeah, that's what this that's game what is. that's what comedy is. But, like, right. because now so many people only about the money, yeah. it's like, you ain't funny enough for my money. Right. Like, yeah. it's not that you're not funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just now we you consciously people thinking, like, do I want to pay for that? Right. So now it's yeah. like, and I'm it's, seeing what people paying for, mm -hmm. so that's the kind of funny I'm going to be. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. if you funny, you just funny and be what makes you funny yeah. and stop trying to chase that money all the time. Mm -hmm. It, it's just nice to be able to say you're a full time entertainer. Facts. That's that's that's, cool. that's my Absolutely. that's my drive. Right. Is that it, even if I'm never a millionaire, right. just getting to a place where I can pay my bills off Come of being on. funny. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the goal. Okay. And that's, that's the goal. And that's, that's, that's the all goal. the goal. Like you know what I'm saying. Right. But like, don't let that deter you from your funny. Yeah. Like right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you paying your bills now. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So you gonna get there? Like to me, it's just like my nigga. I'm gonna be funny regardless. Right. I don't care what nobody think, nobody mm -hmm. say. Once you start worrying about what everybody else wants you to do, mm -hmm. you're not funny to me no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you. I feel like you do have to um, evolve, evolve, mm -hmm. evolve, <laughs> and and adapt. Mm -hmm. You can't. If you get to a certain age, you get to a certain place, you can't make certain jokes anymore. Or um, Y I mean, you just have to go with the flow. Like, mm -hmm. people talk about how Lunell was, didn't like the whole Instagram people being funny and getting paid more than her and stuff like that. But people say, well, she should have adjusted and adapted to now mm -hmm. you need to do funny shit on mm -hmm. Instagram. That's where you get the money from. Mm -hmm. right. That's how you get your name out there. And so I agree. A lot of and, and a lot of comedians don't like doing that. They don't fucking want to do skits and right. do funny shit. They want to be on stage oh, authentic. Yeah. And, um, That's what Martin touched on, on on their interview and how yeah. he was saying like Will was trying to get him to be more into social media and Instagram. He mm -hmm. was like, "Yeah, hey, I'm trying, but that's not his his. That's thing, not his so. thing. That's mm -hmm. not his thing, and that's fine, you know. But yeah. every, I, I'm just saying, you will have to adapt and adjust to your to your growing audience if at you, times. If, if if you want to get take your career or whatever to the next level, mm -hmm. like Martin, he may be like, I ain't got to do all that. I don't right. want to do all You're that. Not I'm good. For it. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Right, and you got to respect that, and that's exactly. where and that's where the I feel like the gray area is mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. people losing respect <coughs> for him because he ain't doing what somebody else is doing. Right. But that don't take away from his comedy. Right. That's, that's just not him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then it gets equated to, well, he must not want no more money. Mm. Yeah. So, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I understand what you're saying, but mm. if you remain authentic, you're going to stay yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be uber rich and right. super duper whatever and right. you want to have all these streams of revenue mm -hmm. i get it you but you're gonna have right. to be out there like right. kevin mm -hmm. hart right so everybody's mm -hmm. hungry and right. everybody's itch it's and ambition is different yeah, yeah. Different, yeah different levels and what, what people you want are like and understand too it's like it's like a it's such a mental thing to process because if you just content and happy and you've been busting your butt for 10 15 20 years or whatever yeah and you happy and content with just your home and your circle and you take on projects as you want to right. i think that's a good space to have that kind of freedom too the, the just tough you part about joke. Right. The like you a broke ass comedian. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that's why you got to be so good with who you are, like Will said, mm -hmm. with who you right. are, where you are, and what you're doing, and to where it's like, all right, you can talk about me if you want to. I'm, I'm pretty good over here, actually. The tough <laughs> part about comedy is finding out, am I being authentic to myself mm -hmm. and, and not, and not <laughs> pushing and not getting anywhere, or am I trash? Well, that's because or am I trying to be something that well, I'm not? Well, that's because you're still yeah. broke. Yeah. When you poor, you always going to overanalyze everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. That's just your broke mentality until you get, <laughs> until you get money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Once you get a, a taste of something else, do you won't think like, oh, maybe I'm not doing whatever I'm doing. Like, we just, yeah. we struggling. That's a struggling comedian's. But, mindset, but here's the thing, too. It <laughs> takes time, bro. Right. Yeah. Like, yes. It seems like now everybody wants to just get it and like, put me on yeah. this. Maybe I can hop on that. And it's like, right. bro, even if you get on that job. shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you, you got to put you put 10 years in, mm -hmm. 11 years, 12 years, then you can start maybe expecting something. But you got to spend so much time sharpening your tool. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that when you do get that layup, you ready. And it's a kill. And then yeah. you're ready to take off and you can sustain there you that. Go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side note, um, <laughs> we're friends, we're family, so we can talk. Mm -hmm. um, so earlier, I had watched that Breakfast Club interview, and it sent me down a rabbit hole of like all their interviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and like <laughs> a rabbit hole. Right. You know, six hours like, later. Yeah, yeah. Like, skip ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I just was like having a moment, and you have when you're an entertainer, you have moments like this, and I just was sitting there. I was like, how would I ever get to those type of level? You know what I mean? I just was sitting in my apartment, and I was like, how would I ever get from where I am right now to where I want to be? And, like, this voice was like, who do you think you are? That's what kind of flashed in my mm-hmm. head. And I just was feeling some type of way. You know what I mean? you like, do am I really funny? Am I, you know, mm-hmm. am I funny enough to get to that type of level? Mm-hmm. Or I think everyone has those type of levels. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, I, I know if you're in entertainment, you you have, even if not, even if you're not in entertainment, you're just trying to do anything in life. Mm-hmm. You always have these moments of, like, am, is this really going to work out? Or, right. you know what I mean? And you feel like that, Fatima, when you um, I mean, I think not necessarily, but, that. like, just in general, I think we all have those moments where we, we question ourselves and we wonder, like, am I going to get where I want to be? Yeah. Am I going to achieve what I want to achieve? And, like, I mean, it's going to come to you. You can't yeah. just fight it, but don't get caught up in that shit. Yeah. You, I, well, you know what I do? Mm-hmm. I wake up and I tell myself, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Every day. I feel mm-hmm. like I'm going to get to where I want to be. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's why I get up every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you got to do affirmations. To to exactly. Those affirmations are key. And automatically start preparing yourself to get to where you want to go. Yeah. And then just keep working at it. But Because you also right. got to understand that shit might not come next year. Yeah. Could be another yeah. two or three. So you, you know what I do when I get up in the morning? I be like, well done, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting ready for work. <laughs> going back to the plantation yeah, again. Going back to the plantation. So I can't. Yeah. We know you're dumb, so you got to be funny. <laughs> you got yeah. to be funny because you're the dumbest motherfucker to keep getting up and going to the <laughs> same <laughs> place. Job. Oh, my God. All the time. So, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody question they self, but, like, yeah. it's cool. Like, just be funny about that shit. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to work either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. That, that's the whole thing of the game. Nobody does. Yeah. Like if you, especially like millennials, especially. But if you go back to the other generation, everybody ready to stop. And working. I don't want to work mm-hmm. with millennials no that. more. Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Fuck you then, <laughs> bitch. Y'all think y'all know everything? I don't. I don't think I know everything. I try to. My biggest thing is I want to soak up game. Like I want to. You know, I love when people that's tell great. me. And, and not give everybody not pay, like that you know? though. But. Yeah. Yeah, not not everybody is is like that. Love some people be like, "Bitch, leave me <laughs> the fuck alone." I know everything. I I see it's a cliff. I'm gonna go over it anyway. Like, <laughs> bitch, you be like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" And but no, I'm not like that. But, but yeah, what's, what's I just had that moment. I wanted to share that with you. I just was having that that moment, and like then I went to open mic spot, and I did. I did. Everybody said I did really great, but I, I'm a perfectionist, right, right. and I'm I just felt like ugh, whatever. But nigga, when but, you but, hit crickets, that's when you know you ain't doing right. Like, <laughs> you had laughter and because yeah, even proud you get laughter back, mm-hmm. you're still thinking about your jokes or something you didn't yeah, yeah, land yeah, right or, or you didn't say right. right. I'm the same way. But hey, let me encourage you with this: just know that. Okay, cool. This like boxers. Okay, that was mm-hmm. that fight. Cool. Mm-hmm. I gotta go back and deliberate, think about it, and then I gotta just go get ready for my next fight. Yeah, and then get right. ready for my next fight. Yeah. And if this is something that you really bout, mm-hmm. just you know, keep preparing for those fights and keep yeah. on shopping and keep getting better. And but that's how those specials are built. That's how mm-hmm. I think you ready to do that hour. Mm-hmm. It's going in these different arenas and these mm-hmm. different places and these different environments all the time for years. Then you got all of this material, and you when it's time to do that hour, you just like shit. I'm ready to do too. Right. 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 You right. gotta be and, okay mm-hmm. with putting in the time. Right. Yeah, all that's, that is that's the all thing. that is great. Right. But if you ain't patient, it ain't right. for you. Right. Yeah. Because right. Not gonna be overnight. Yeah, right. it's, yeah. You have to be patient. Mm-hmm. Like I'm mad patient. Like mm-hmm. I listen to everybody thing and like everybody like I see how you be on yourself, but I'll be like, nigga, I laughed. You was funny. Right. Relax. You're your own hardest like Yeah, right. you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you here. So mm-hmm. like if you once you got on the stage for the very first time, that was mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. That was the only hurdle that right. was holding you back. Right, right, right. After yeah. that, it's a cakewalk. Yeah. Like, I'm just, just be out here. I'm just mm-hmm. out here. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, you mm-hmm. got a little job. You getting a little money. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> money. But that's why, you gotta get a, that's why you got to get a job and enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't have a job and you're struggling, you're going to become frustrated as hell. Oh, man. Right? And if you do have a job and you or, or whatever the case, but you're not enjoying you're gonna this shit. You're going to be struggling you're gonna and struggle you're going to be frustrated. frustrated. <laughs> right, 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 right. So Either way. Get comfortable because this shit could just take some time. Put it that way. Get Takes comfortable because this shit will take time. Yeah. If it doesn't and it surprises you, good, but you just need to prepare your life for this shit to take And then you think of the long-term shit, like, I'm going to blow up, and then you can cheat and right. apologize and 
get us. She ah, cheated. Apologize. Hey. Life's going to be Let's grand. Let's not promote that. <laughs> Life's going to be Hell yeah, I'm for sure cheating. I'm going to be yeah. like, where Trey Songz at? Bring him in here. I can't lie. It wasn't me. It was. It was. What's this condom doing money. here? The money. <laughs> what's this girl doing in the closet, <laughs> nigga? Do I don't, like, you? what's crazy to me, and it's a prime example of, like, I guess bitches just don't care about money, or they care they care too much about money. Mm-hmm. Like, Boosie, Lil Boosie. Did you see his interview? <laughs> Lil <laughs> Boosie. Lord. I wish I wouldn't have skied it in. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> <gonna be honest. laughs> I wish I would have took all of the skied it in. Just oh, no, just skied it in one person. One. Because the rest of them get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, shit was the worst. My thing is, who is out here smashing Boosie? Some like, women out here smashing Boosie. Yeah. Somebody smashing doing future? it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, but like. You got, a, lot, a, lot com- a lot comes with, with your talent. A lot comes with your money. A lot mm. comes with, you know, who you are. Because a lot funny. of people just feel your swag or, you know, you, yeah. whatever it is. Mm. If, if they into that. That yeah. guy is funny. You know what else? Boosie. Boosie yeah. is man, hella funny. Man, shout out to Boosie, man. I'm from Louisiana. Everybody in Louisiana, we saw the video. We was like, ha, ah, it's like we Y'all. talking to my homeboy. It was like, Country. Ah, ha, ha. Hot mess. He I said, I mess. think I do the same things I did before. Nigga, <laughs> 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 like, murder? Murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> Boosie is trash. <laughs> He's so right. funny. That's Somebody right. is liking it though, cause he how many kids he got? Like seven, I have no idea. or something like that. He got a like, no, but he t- no, he said he was young. Like yeah, I I understand that. Like he was young. Like when you young, you. And you know when you young, men can't hold their semen? What's Here's the problem? The thing. <laughs> nice. He was hoeing around. Bro. I don't understand why women <laughs> act like they didn't have a fast stage. We just we talked our, about this. I definitely keep, didn't. We keep our shit to ourselves. Like when you young and you you out there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But boys just out there more than girls. I did not. I did. And when I, right when I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a whole phase. The dude, <laughs> the first dude I met. This is like super small, like Damn. super small. Like that, that's your bad. And that right? was my bad. He was like six two and fine. I was like, wait, hold bad. on, this doesn't match up. So Timmy, you had a whole phase. Be no, honest. I did not. I ain't never y'all some good Christian mm. morning. I don't, first of all, I am not amen. Amen, good amen, Christian amen. nothing, okay. but I just didn't. Hey, just let me ask you this. Thing. I know Charlie, people that did. Married, I had homegirls home that was phase? hoeing. Charlie. Does, does your wholeness get deleted when you move to a new place? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> all right, y'all need to give us different answers for the first question then. <laughs> all the, all, first, of all, first of all, all the niggas you've been with drop off after five years, period. Wow. That's so, a rule? Who's so I'm at zero. Okay. All right. You at zero. All right. Half a point. <laughs> Give me half a point. Well, speaking no, I never, of I never had a whole face. speaking of skeeting and y'all y'all people <laughs> boozy and all them, that leads us into my two cents. <clears throat> so, I came across an interesting article. It's talking about how is it? Y'all simple. Um, it says for women less. Is y'all ninjas? Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here. So let's talk about how uh, less sex may mean earlier menopause. So My nigga. The study followed 3,000 American women over the course of a decade. She came upon this. And <laughs> I, did, I came upon <laughs> this via Google search. Oh, article um, reading that. I am. <laughs> I'm intellectual. Hold on. Let me hear this. Um, right, so right. it followed 3,000 American women over the course of a decade, and women who had sex at least once per month were less likely to enter early menopause compared to those who had sex less frequently. So, hmm. here's 10 benefits of having sex, ladies, in case you needed a reason to do so. We already... Come on. Okay. Go number turn one. You, turn your volume up. So, so coming is just not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> turn your volume up. So, number one... Let's hear this. Lower blood pressure. Oh, I have a question for Charlie. Don't let me forget Oh, it. man. Oh, shit. Number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> better immune system, so you won't get sick as often. Number three, better heart health, which is important. I'm not fucking for none important. of them reasons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> heart health? You gotta well, get heart health. Maybe you start doing more fucking. <laughs> you ain't gotta eat no Cheerios. You're gonna have some good heart health. Heart disease is like the number one killer. Come home and lower my blood pressure. <laughs> right. It's, it's, on, it's on the list, so we had to put it out there. Um, Number four, improve self-esteem. Nigga. True. Which, True. Also, <laughs> hey, hey. I'll be like, somebody wants to fuck hey, me. Hey, some good sex will make you happy feeling better. You be happy feeling like the king. I'm the like, finest hey. bitch right now. Oh, All right. my God. And you also, stand by my name and everything. And also, sleeping in the nude can improve your self-esteem, too. Just oh, as a side note. Oh, side note. Just a side note. 
Okay, two, I one, one thing. I thought I was. <laughs> one <What>? thing. <laughs> this is this is okay. So I'm reading a book right now about. Oh, you read? Uh, how dare you? I'm in a book club, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll get. I gotta go look at the information, but it does talk about um sex and the benefits of sex and like how to be more free with yourself. It's mm. for women because we overthink sex and mm. da da da. But I one don't. of the things it talks about We do. Like we be thinking about or they say women working women mothers can be distracted. You thinking about the dishes, all the shit you gotta right, do tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, but it was saying <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> and so it was saying it's like this. Left. <laughs> I can't. It's, I've had that. Like I've been so stressed where like I'm not getting wet because you're not paying any bills. So it's like that's sand paper. Give it to him. Any goddamn way. Like, that's a whole other story. Listening. Yes, like stimulate my mind. What? Yeah. Any sparks flying listening. off Listen. your pussy? That's why I do dishes myself. Shut up. I get that done. I've been. Um, no, okay, so it says one of the things, so there are things in our mind that keep us from fully enjoying sex. It said one of the things is cold feet, and mm. that if you wear socks, you're more likely, women are more likely to have an orgasm. I'm gonna buy some socks today. Isn't that? I know. Whoa, right. I think you ain't got no socks. No. Oh, <laughs> but that's not sexy though. I don't want to. I like. I'm not gonna. He say got about, the white joints. Hey. <laughs> he got the white ones. Pulled all the way up hey. to the middle of his head. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say I have a foot fetish. You freak. You say, nasty. Lies. But I will say. I like a good looking foot. <laughs> right. That's really? different. That's different. That goes I like that too. So I don't like, want no socks. I have home. some crazy shit going on down there, but. Back to the list. So, <laughs> improved self esteem. Uh, number five, it decreases depression and anxiety. Facts. The more sex you have. Number six, increased libido. Duh. The more you're getting it, the more you want it. And mm. seven, immediate natural pain relief. Mm. Side note to that, that's why, you know, this isn't for everybody, but that's why they say it's good sometimes if you have sex while you're on your cycle because that Ugh. helps with cramps. I that's mean, disgusting. Come on, fellas. Some that's, people do come it. Come on, I'm fellas. Go get that towel out the saying. bathroom. I'm just that's putting that out there that that can help re- naturally relieve <laughs> menstrual cramps if you have an and orgasm. And so does my doll and I agree. It does. <laughs> that is so gross. That's not natural. Yeah, so, well, I'm just Naturally, saying. I don't want to... Be well, blood well, everywhere. That's true. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bloody so, massacre. Hey, hey, y'all ain't, got to, take, y'all ain't got to take these health tips. But if you uh, want to live longer, you know if you want your long. blood pressure to clear up, you want, want, to have you want her life. cramps to subside. Right. Yes. <laughs> help, 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 your lady out. help your lady out, fellas. Help her with her cramps. So immediate natural pain relief. Number eight, better sleep. Obviously, you getting you your go. back blown out. You won't sleep. Lay out. Number nine, it increases intimacy and closeness to your partner. Mm-hmm. Duh, because it's bonding. Because not if he's yeah okay. We I was like I was like not if he's not, not your if man. He's not your <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 Side check, this does not apply to y'all. Stay exactly. on your side. Exactly. <laughs> and lastly, number Y'all gonna 10, have high blood pressure. Number 10, overall <laughs> stress reduction physiologically and emotionally. That's, that's true. a lie. That's, that's true. That's a, because oh, my it, God. Yeah, that is a I lie. Mean, Depending on who you're sleeping with. Yeah. Exactly. Don't yeah. be sleeping with somebody. Because you be sleeping things. with crazy bitches. Uh, right, right. <laughs> exactly. They got the best. See? That's true. See? I can't. That's a whole nother show. <laughs> I said that's true. That's a whole nother segment right I there. cannot. <laughs> you ever had a crazy girl, Charlie? Nope. Don't avoid yes, the question. I, I, I lied, did. Charlie. Honest, honestly, I did. One. Long, long, long ago. And I married her. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you tr- oh, oh, she man. makes me so <laughs> sick. Hey, it's just, <laughs> you know, you know? He always ready. You stay he always ready. We, we always got, ready. We the... got Charlie's ass on the spotlight. They be throwing it at me. What's, nah, what's, the, what's the question of the day, Charlie? I don't oh want to shit! Be crazy. All right, so I got hit up with a couple of a uh, couple of questions. So y'all be sure and email in younggunsofcomedy at gmail.com for your questions. First of all, that's wrong. Younggunsofcomedy la at gmail.com. Okay, all yeah, right. Don't back forget to the LA. Well, shit. Well, well. She told so you. I'll let, so let me next apologize no. to everybody that has been emailing younggunsofcomedy at gmail.com. <laughs> I was wrong. If you're getting a demon <laughs> mail in return, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's because we don't know shit. That mm-hmm. is my fault. So uh, yeah, definitely email in Young Guns of Comedy LA. At gmail.com, so there we can you uh, get your question popping in here. So uh, somebody asked, um, what asked. should you do? <laughs> no, no, I'm from the South. Okay, what would you, somebody asked, we call it asked, <laughs> hack, like you hacking somebody. Yeah. Somebody asked, what should you do if sex is bad, not pleasurable, not even getting yours, but they treat you good and they're a good person <laughs> and they really work for you mm-hmm. and it's functional, it all kind of aligns, but the sex factor just ain't there. 
I'll Is that a relationship first. you should stay in? Mm-hmm. Me, I want to hear what all y'all got to say about that one. I got to hear what Fatima had to say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of us on this panel is in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure y'all had to make that decision. Oh, this is trash. Oh, yes. Do I want to say this still seems like so I'm, nice. So I'm assuming for this question, you're like in a relationship with this person, right? Yes. No, oh, they, they treat you right. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I would like say, first thing I would say, just have a conversation. Ooh, that's a tough conversation. I don't, to I don't think it should be like, I'm just, <laughs> you shouldn't just be like, I'm done with it because your right, sex is trash. Right. It's like, you know, have, have a conversation a about what you need, So what your you dick want. is trash. Yeah. Like, See, you, oh. that's, that's like, not going to, you want to get exhibit a beat up. How not to initiate a conversation. Right. It doesn't, right now. it doesn't give matter. Me, it doesn't matter. Hand. That's what he's going to hear. so dry. <laughs> <laughs> It right. don't matter what you this, say. First of all, he's going to hear, oh, she's saying I'm trash, I'm not a man. No, nah, nah, nah. No. Because Fatima, if he's, Fatima, paying, if he's paying steps. attention, then right. he should realize why y'all right. are doing it. Who are these I'm not getting men? anything yes. out of this. Yeah, you live so, in a... You, what men have who you dated are these that do fantasy this? niggas? You just right, gotta, and if they like don't, that's like, why you have a conversation. Exactly. Or you can just kick them I'm to the curb. I'm going to tell you what you do. I'm going to tell you what you do. It's a tough conversation to have. If he's a good like dude right. and you want to try to save the relationship, right. then have a conversation about it. Left. I need more because of this, maybe less of that. your pussy is trash. Yeah, it's you. like, no, it's you. And yo trash vagina. I'd be like, well, which one of us is coming? You? Okay, so clearly it's not me. And now you childish in the conversation. No, that's being honest. That's just being honest, so. Well, yeah. pussy became I became trash. <laughs> but, but I think well, talk about no it dick is small <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I feel like if a, if, a, if a chick just leaves up, your dick is trash. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like, what the fuck are you looking for? You looking for just some good dick? Are you yes. Like, oh, oh my stop. god! See? Wait a minute. <laughs> but you don't want a lifestyle. You want to get Charlie, married. You don't. You're not looking Charlie for a partner. Got mad. Wait okay, a minute, let's say. A okay, wait, wait, wait. I let's guess it's say, what it's like to be single. Y'all just get let's this. Let's say. Wait a minute. You was with a girl, right? Mm-hmm. She treated you good. She treated you nice. And you were not married. Yeah. You're not married. Right. This, in this fantasy. Right. And <laughs> she didn't give head ever. Ever. Okay. You never. Gotta, she you never. Got, you she never gave. Okay, Thank but you. she's never gonna give you head. Are you gonna stay in that relationship? Or you gonna or you gonna do this the sneak when she sleep and be yeah. like, is it dick? That, <laughs> that don't work either. That's not a good method either. Depending on the chick you she better fan that bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Again. Get it out of here. But answer the question. Yeah. Go answer ahead. the question. No head um, ever. You staying? She's just not going to do it. Here's the thing. I feel like I feel like you like back onto what Fatima was saying. I'm on your team on this one. I'm on the Fatima train. Because we got we talking to our listeners here, so we gotta think a little bit more mm-hmm. rational. So obviously our sex life is important. Obviously, it's a big deal. If you're with someone that respects you and loves you, and you share how much of a big deal it is, and some important things that need to get addressed, For hopefully they make those changes. So hopefully you. they make those changes. But if that they don't, wasn't the question. All right. The question Are was, you staying? Uh, what he said he would talk do, to her. What do you do? Because that's a hard, that's a that's a loaded <laughs> question. Because if you already got two, two you know, a couple well, kids. Well, Charlie, if you, you know if you if you saying? talk if you talk to her, and, and the end conversation trip? is that she's still not going to do it, are you going to stay with her? Well, here's the thing though. A lot of women would do that initially, but they may stop or they may slow down. You may feel like oh. I give head all the time. It don't even matter. You leave. If you want some good whatever, mm-hmm. head, dick, vagina, and they treating you good, you still unhappy. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. leave. Like, you can have the conversation, but have the conversation because I'm sure generally when you have sex, me, if it's kind of trash, mm-hmm. I kind of try to work mm-hmm. and help you right. <laughs> get mm-hmm. to where I want you to be. Right. If that has you've done that, and can't I be happen, working, y'all? <laughs> I be working with that. No, with that. She, you out here about to teach. I ain't got time. She'll, to she'll school you if you don't I know. Right? I'm out here slinging fake. <laughs> don't. No, no. Not the fake D. So she'll try to work. She'll try no, to work but with like, you. Yes, but no, like, if, you're, if you're asking you. that question now, that means you probably tried that and mm-hmm. it's still not working out. So yeah. like, have the conversation about like this ain't working. But that's like, but that's what it has to come to. You treat me good. If the sex is trash, you gotta cancel that person off. Yeah. That's basically what it comes to. They sex is trash. Shout out to D cousin at in the chat room he said if she d- says she doesn't give head she that gives you the option to move on right <laughs> that was supposed to be your answer sir that's true he that's over true. here like what you do yeah. is like no that's give us saying. your uh, charlie from louisiana answer because you get a because, real drunk because here's, the, <laughs> because here's <laughs> the problem with that and again maybe i'm just a southern dude you know what i'm saying i'm from the south we got a different <sighs> way of thinking you know what i'm saying southern dude. i got a different da, da, way of thinking da. so when, when from the south it's like hey man we gotta we gotta figure it out because here's the thing mm-hmm. if you just letting your genitals control your life you're building your life around that 
Now, the person that may be the best person for you and that may help you out in Ooh, business. Ooh, you real man. That may be helping. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Because the person that may help no, your no. business, that may help you brand, that may help your so, Charlie, mental state. Basically, you're saying that still that would be a deal sexually. breaker, a fully deal breaker. That wouldn't be a deal breaker for you. It, I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't. It would be a deal breaker for me. For sure, bad mm. bad sex. I, I'm out. I'm out because that's what I'm saying. Bad sex. Bad sex, yeah. and it's like we first of uh, not I mean, giving head is not I, a deal breaker for me. I feel. <laughs> 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 ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I feel like sex is such an important part of a relationship sure. and being intimate and being with each other. And one, you should want to. Make your partner right. happy. happy, so you right. should give head. Period. Right. And then also, if it's terrible, if she wants it, it I mean, in like the it. beginning of a relationship, you tell somebody your wants and like things that you like. Blah 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 blah. If they still can't get it, it's like <clears throat> just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to teach. Um, I don't want to teach you. Mm -hmm. Like it's the difference between teaching you what I like and having to teach you because right. you're trash. I used to have a dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> I used to have yes. a. Oh, I had man. a dude who he would kiss like. His whole tongue out, like damn, like a puppy, and it would be like so. Oh and then God. he would like to like lick my ear, which I thought was so He's disgusting. Like, like, and I used to be, I used to have to be like, yeah, you know what I mean. But that's what he with the shoulder, yes. But that's what he thought was sexy and nice and all of that stuff. And I was like, like who touched me? So did you tell him or did you just cut him yeah, off? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, I told okay. him. I eventually stopped talking to him altogether. But he was <laughs> <laughs> he was a really nice he was a really nice guy, good guy. Over. See, that's right. the whole thing. I feel like everybody is because of social media in these times. Because when I was dating, you still had to call on the crib, ask for somebody, mama, and shit. Hey, you that know, was in '92. Okay, Stop it. But, but, but I feel like now it's so easy to just say, "Yeah, you cut off. You're done. Next option." But and that's then not what like, it is. You're cut like, off. Next, I can get better sex. Those are lies. Like you know what it's saying? still the same. But like what you see on social media is not what's really. No, it's of course, still the same. right? Like people ain't cutting. People are bumping their head over and over again because mm -hmm. I was one of the people too. Like mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah. I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna give it one more. One more try. Like, you uh, know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too many people in yeah. the world to yeah. have to, to settle. Yeah, to have to oh, settle. Y'all knock knocking sounds out and plugs and whatnot. What happened? Hold on. Oh, I think you cut. Somebody got cut. I don't think Asian oh, can hear us because we unplugged. Yeah, I don't know what she. Who did. unplugged? We good? good? No, nah, we I good. Can't you can't hear nothing. nothing. You can hear us. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Whatever. Let me tell you. Look. Can we talk about uh, people in the chat room? Marquise, do Marquise hit y'all? <laughs> he don't hit me anymore. No, Marquise anymore. hit me and say some of the random and shit. Like, I shout out to Marquise. Can't. This thing will be like, these Cheetos was fired today and they got off work at 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, my nigga, so. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, let him share his day with you. Man, I be trying to hook him up. Like, let me tell you what this did. did. Marquise, I'm still your homie. Don't be offended. Right. Which I know you're not. <laughs> Disclaimer. This fool gave me his number and was like, give it out <laughs> to, <laughs> to the fine girls at my job. And I was just like, no, I'll never do that, bro. Like, you could come up here, though. And right, right, right. You should have gave it to some, like, big Bertha girl. That's me. Why would I do that? Maybe that's his type. That's what he probably needs. Skinny yeah. dudes always like real thick big girls. <laughs> well, he shot at you and you... See? You body shaming <laughs> ass bitch. Gotcha. She always saying I'm fat, y'all. It's cool. When I don't eat for 10 weeks... <laughs> She gonna, gonna be like, bitch. damn, oh, <laughs> you look good though. Like, girl, you're cold, your blood sugar, like, high blood pressure. Has. <laughs> what happened to your foot? <laughs> well, don't feel, don't feel bad, whispers. Matter of fact, let's let's go ahead and figure out what's what's the move. What's okay, going so on this I do week, have uh, another. He got one more, uh, one more oh, question, question that came. We did run. It so is now, question of the day, but go ahead. Oh yeah, you're right. I thought this is like do your thing. Do your thing. No, 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 no. I guess I guess this is kind of a part B. This that was one. This is one A. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you don't give head, uh, you know, it says my man won't give me head, but request it from me. No. Oh. Uh, Hell no. Don't so are you petty. okay giving head, but not getting any? I guess that's what they're trying to get to. That's selfish. Ladies. She, well, she needs to uh, leave him because he's selfish. <laughs> <laughs> he's selfish. No, no, how are you going to request it? it? How are you going to request it? And like, he's probably hitting her with the sneak. She waking up and it's just a penis right here in her face. Mm -hmm. He, you know what I mean? Like, now, How you just... requesting it and then you but you don't reciprocate like right. ooh so that's, that's a selfish. that's a, it's supposed to be like because in my community that's that submissiveness we were talking about last week remember no. nigga what so, yeah. <laughs> no, in my community, <laughs> to... 
that's supposed mm-hmm. to be like uh, in the Bible. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, uh-huh. I don't she give everybody my head community. though. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's a deal breaker. You gotta be special. Yeah. That would be a deal breaker for me if, if you are requesting it because you're selfish, but not but giving, not giving it. it. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're like, no, no, I ain't doing I that. Don't, I don't think a lot of things should be off limits when you're in that mode. Mm-hmm. So you like a finger in your ass. That's basically what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everybody? I'm and sorry. And to be choked, <laughs> right? Choke, little finger Good here. Ass. You know what I'm saying? Socks on. Okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Taco Bell <laughs> night. <laughs> Fatima? Keep it. Keep it. Oh, no. If you're not giving it, then you're definitely not getting no, it. No, do you like Damn, a finger fellas? in that? <laughs> oh, no, no. That's, yeah, that's everybody the does. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to keep it real I'm cool today. on that. I'm cool right. on that. Well, a, little, that answer, a little thumb. A little thumb. A little thumb. A little thumb. What about the groceries? Do you... Got to. Are we eating groceries well, like, in 2020? Is that what this shit is like? Yes. Groceries? You eating the groceries? No, I'm, I'm okay on that. Am I? Are you eating No. I, I, <laughs> she just said, and she said, got, there should be no limits to what's going on in that. She just I'm said, no, no men don't clean good enough for me. So, like, oh, oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> are you fucking a dirty dude? I wasn't what talking about No, I'm girl. saying, what like, on? no, that's what she's asking. Is he, what I know? I grew up with athletes, I've dated athletes. Men are stinky, and they, you know, there's some people who are good, but men be like, a little too stinky for me. You know what I mean? Nice so basically, job. niggas stink. That's what right, she's that's saying, what, y'all. That's what she's saying. No. Is, she's saying your booty <laughs> Not all, not all. But no, if, no, he, no, if no. he's doing, if he would do that to me, yeah, I'm with that. That's cool okay. with me. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to treat you like a whole Wow. I'm going to treat you like a whole ho. I'm going to be looking at you like you filthy slut. You know? <laughs> you nasty. You can do what's the word. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, you want to do this first? Okay, so what's the move for sorry, what's um, the move? <laughs> this weekend? There is, not necessarily for the weekend, but you can, um, there's a party coming up under Peaches and Cream. That's the production. It's uh, 2000s R&B hip-hop music. It's a lot of fun. They do a lot of, like, down south music as well. Hey. And when I mean, like, dirty south, I mean, like, dirty, dirty south. Like, I heard them play Chopped and Screwed music one time. I was like, huh? Oh, okay. okay. Switch it up. But okay. um, we got a call? Where is this at? Is this in the hall? We can't hall hear it. Oh, we, I can't hear nothing. We can't hear anything. No. Is this in the hall? This part you're talking about? No, my nigga, I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing. He said, said he still was ca- capturing. You got it? Okay. Um, my bad. And so that's a good good look. Also, the African American Museum is gonna have a lot of events tomorrow on Monday. Of course, it's of course, free. Yeah. There's gonna be free parking. So if you want to do something with your kids, um, they're gonna have a lot of events. Um, you know, demonstrating uh, voting rights and all that type of stuff. So y'all should. Uh, you know, if you're in up. the Los Angeles, if you're in the Los area. Angeles that area, <laughs> yes. There's always say also the Kingdom Day Parade every year. Yes, in LA. What is it called? The Kingdom Day Parade. Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King oh, okay, Day Parade. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, I Shaw, personally don't like to Martin Luther King. Those Martin Luther King. What you do? Uh, parades. Somebody always got shot when back home oh, every yeah, year. I was like, well, not going to that ever again. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so we are a listener supported network. Um, please send in your donations um, to either Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. It's Roll Out Digital on all those platforms. Uh, we will, you know, if you send in ten dollars, we will give you a put your name in a drawing, and it'll be uh, picked by Shelly and Precious on their show. Um, also, we have Grass Straws. Okay, very um, environmentally. Whatever, friendly. environmentally friendly. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I couldn't get the word out. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, I couldn't yeah. get it. Like environmentally, yeah, biodegradable yeah. Um, straws. These I like a lot more than the paper ones. The paper yes. ones that they yeah. make yeah. us yeah. use now, yeah. it's just terrible. So these are really good. Grass straws, they help the turtles. Okay. Go Shout to, to <laughs> grass. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get some, uh, go to grassstraws.net. Enter the code D three so that they know we sent you. For sure, for sure. Please do so. Also, the cruise, okay? We, we we pop in with the cruise, okay? Come roll out uh, with Speedy and Friends. Cruise is coming up quick, and the $50 <laughs> deposit needs to be due by February. The cruise is from July 30th to August 2nd. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love cruises. I don't know why with y'all. Okay. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. It's going to be a good no, time. It's going to be a good you time. You get to meet all of us in person, and if you got 
Um, you know, you want to catch a fade? Come and on. And if you're trying to make me <laughs> catch a fade, <laughs> right. fellas, if you keep if you keep clean, you never know. You, you might catch a fade. You never know. Make sure you are there. That's all I'm saying. But Fatima is. She don't play that. Yeah, right, she's right. not with it. <laughs> <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> Man, no fingers, no groceries, no nothing. Right, 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 a little right, right. thumb? Come on. <laughs> nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just caress her cheeks. That's all she <laughs> Like this. Like, <laughs> caress her like. <laughs> hey, and she, and she might have a conversation with you when y'all done. In case, so stupid. You know. So do you want to be with me or no? <laughs> 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 what are we Moving doing? On. I'm sorry, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> you got your shoulders out. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Stupid. So after our show, we'll be uh, before the Fame TV, uh, by one of our sponsors, Mike Sherman. He's bringing celebrity interviews with multiple people. Today's interview will be with DJ Khaled. Mm-hmm. So please check okay. that out. You know what I'm saying? It's premiering today after the show, before the fame.tv. Thanks, Mike Sherman. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. Look out. Thanks for the sponsorship. So let's start uh, down the end. Charlie, give me your Instagram and your social media, sir. For oh, sure, we, we for sure. In. Follow me at Charlie Wilson TV on social media. We got more time because uh, we, we started got- late. Oh, okay, oh, okay, cool. Okay. We'll keep your, keep your little social shit. Right, yeah. well, let's go keep back. Can you get us? What you want us? Do we get that call? What happened? We're going to take a quick break, y'all, because uh, so we, we started a little late. Yeah, fix right, our little technical it. difficulties. Please we'll be right back. back. Call in. We want to hear from y'all. I do. For sure. For sure. I do. Yeah, I can't. Fame. It doesn't come easy. And when it does, will you be ready? We all want to be famous, but only a select few get a taste of it. Did you ever wonder what it takes to be a star? Well, get ready for an exclusive look into the lives of today's biggest celebrities on their journey to the top. Before the fame. Hi everybody, I'm Mike Sherman. Over the years, I've had a chance to go one-on-one with some of the biggest names in entertainment, such as Kim Kardashian, Pitbull, DJ Khaled, Flo Rida, and so many more, all at the very beginning of their careers, before the rise to the top, which brings me to my new TV show, Before the Fame. We're gonna go back down memory lane and show you guys never before seen footage where it all began. I'm gonna sit down with former friends, producers, songwriters, publicists, bodyguards, everybody that was there in the very beginning. Plus, I'm so excited about a new part of the show, the wave of fame, where I get a chance to sit down with the superstars of tomorrow before they're famous. Plus, we'll stay connected to our fans with social media, where our TV audience will send in video questions to ask some of our guests, and sometimes some of the celebrities themselves. So here's a quick taste of Before the Fame. I hope you enjoy it. When did you first start working with Pitbull? He was this young guy, he used to take the bus and come to Luke Record, not on 84th over there where we had Ace Town on 2nd Avenue. This is 12th Street of South Beach. He first went on the road, he was a Pitbull. And what do you do with a Pitbull? You sick him on another Pitbull. We hit it off, we, a, we saw eye to eye a lot of things. And- and at that moment, I knew that was the artist that I wanted to get involved with, but I also this group of stuff. There's no losing, only learning. There's no failure, only opportunities. And there's no problems, only solutions. Generous donation today on the radio. For anything I can do to help, anything we can all do to help, believe me, like I said, it could have been us. So, God bless. So we want to shout out DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled just, just inked a We The Best Def Jam uh, record label deal, Mike Sherman. <laughs> Khaled is officially an executive. I'm down here in South Beach at the beautiful Prime 112 with one of my friends and one of the best hip hop rappers, performers in the game, Fat Joe. I mean, if I had somebody in my ear, listen, we the best, we doing it. Wouldn't that drive you crazy? I woke up to it, I fell asleep to it, I dreamed about it. Before I let you go, we're going to go out to Tallahassee, Florida. Hey Kay, this is Alexa from Tallahassee. Quick question for DJ Khaled. Was he always this hyped up when he used to work with him? 
I mean, Khaled, come on now. I know you're a long time now. You're even dancing and stuff. What's going on with that? I mean, Trevor Squad is what we do. It's what we do. You're humble and you keep it real. Okay. And how do you do that? How, does this fame change you at all? Nah, you know, God is great. You know what I'm saying? You know, that is that my life is changing every day, every second in a great way. Flo was a former football player. Mm -hmm. Was he always working out on the, on the road? Listen. Every day. The phone call to my room. Hey, Flo wants you downstairs in your running shoes. We're gonna go run 10 miles through the city. What? We just landed. Like, can I can I take a shower? Me? No, no joke. And it was like this everywhere we went. Yeah. Very dedicated. Flo Rider, what's up, man? Just happy to be here. You know, first time at the was nominated for Best New Artist, Best Collaboration. My mom always told me to be humble, put God first. And I mean that's what opens the doors, you know, that's the bridge to success. So you never want to lose that. You're watching Before the Fame. Coming up next, Mike Tyson gives us an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the YGOC yeah. podcast. We're going to hang out another couple minutes because we had some technical difficulties. So. I'm not going to lie. Well, I was late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we I wasn't going to put you out there. No, you know, no. I, I Charlie was late, be, too. I Charlie to was late as hell. Be more responsible and get here on time. Definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, ain't shit. I told y'all I had a meeting this morning that ran a little bit behind. All right. I apologize. Uh, lies oh, and oh, this will be the yeah. last yeah. time. Oh, oh Hollywood ass. Yeah. That's the last thing I had. A meeting on a Sunday. Hold on. Let me open up my bacon app and then y'all call me Hollywood. Let me show y'all my bounce. Then you tell me. All right. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you called in earlier, you can give us a call back. Um, we'd love, 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 love to hear from you. Yes, yes. Call yeah. um, Give us a little feedback. Is it better than last week? I know a lot of you guys were upset about our relationship commentary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to talk about relationships yeah. on here sometimes. It's not as much. Yeah, it's you know. You know relationships saying? last time. We talked about eating the groceries this time. You just got to stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you never know. You, don't you know. never know what's going to um, come up. Charlie, what we're very left right. <laughs> Charlie, gonna, Charlie gonna ignore this question. Oh, man. The groceries? Yeah, I eat them. Oh, oh okay. right. I right. with I my see. baby. I'm gonna call in and let these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> 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 I see why you married. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Country no, I hope, niggas, I hope to get there. Uh, one day. I, but that's but that's the whole thing. Like, uh, I I get the get you just get to rub your feet, put rubs. <laughs> that's what's up. That, that's what's up. That's that's really I sweet. But that's at the same sweet. time, the communication is so key because I could think that she like foot rubs and you know everything is cool. But like Fatima said, that's my third time <laughs> picking back up a team. You got to be able to have those conversations, conversations. to let your partner communication know. Communication hey, is up? key. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. Absolutely. No, communication see? is definitely key. But like. Yeah. And you know, that's the sensitive stuff. You know your sex about. is trash. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, some people might not, cause you know chicks be faking it. I don't right. Know. Chicks do be faking. So faking. dudes might think that they you be faking it. Up. it? You like, eh. uh, in my youth, I did. In hey, your youth, my nigga. Like, <laughs> she's seventy-seven now. now. <laughs> in my younger time, but not now. No, I don't have time for that. Damn. Okay. You know now. what I'm saying. Okay. But I don't be. All, I won't. If, if it's woman now, huh? if it's trash, I, just, I won't really say anything because I, I don't want to have. You just stop men texting. Are you just be laying there like. Go, <laughs> I just go away. <laughs> ghost. Damn. Ghost you ever been ghosted? Cold blooded. At your uh, your time, what was it? They just didn't pick up the phone. Yeah, that was it. You know, I just. As long as I got Star the house, number to the house. They didn't return his page. <laughs> 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 like, page. You didn't get my page. <laughs> 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 the pigeon never came back. Uh, oh. Damn. Oh, uh, I'm man. an 80s baby, man. I ain't that far. Shout out to the 80s babies. I know y'all listening in, man. You, you been curved? You, you ever been? Then. Yeah, I was curved uh, three times in one month last year. Mm. Yes. Recently, <laughs> actually. I was curved recently? No, I was curved recently. You mm. were? Oh, Tell us really? about that curve. I mean, I mean, it wasn't. I want my feelings wasn't hurt. Like, <laughs> she, she I'm over here like oh, she entitled oh. to say no. Like, yeah, right. I was just like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying. What she, what she, did she say? No, she want to be your friend or something. Like, what yeah, you say? she was just like, no, nah, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Because mm. you're trash. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on Man, today? I'm not trash. Because she probably she she have you been hers? Um, I'm sure I have. <laughs> 
You mean you sure you had? Was you not there when the shit happened? <laughs> Has there ever been a guy that you've had like what? interest in that just wasn't giving you the attention or the responsiveness <laughs> that you needed? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to make that I'm decision too. Like, all right, well, I like this dude, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, definitely. I've been having everybody. Bro, yeah. I've been curvedy curved. Like, I've been curved. I get curved, curved a lot. Curved. Curved. Huh? I get curved a lot, though. Yeah, I mean, one, it's like. Bl- Last year, I was putting myself out there a lot. Like, in the beginning of my, like, last uh, January, I was really putting myself out there, and I was getting curved every Like, on time. dating sites? The or one, like, um, no, person? like, in, in person. The one, the one dude. Uh, it's a no. I can't. <laughs> the one dude, I found out he didn't like black women, so I didn't feel bad. The, oh, the, the other two. a lot in L.A. Was he black? He was black. Yeah, he's black. We, was, we had from the same hometown. He literally Damn. was, like, 10 minutes from my um, house. Well, that's his house. preference. Let's, that's his let's preference. Let's 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 it didn't make me feel bad, but the other two, I was like, nigga, what? How am I getting curved? No, when I say I get curved a lot, it's because, like, I'm not at a, like, gay function. Mm-hmm. So, like, I really have to take, I'm taking risks right. regardless. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I'm saying? what is that? What is that kind of, in that opening kind of interesting when you make your first approach and kind of talk to a woman to see if well, she's. Well, for me, it's just like, because at the open mic, I was like, hmm. Right, all right. It was, was a couple of in there. Right. Possibly, and here's winning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With it. I was like, I gotta get on the stage because now I can right. see if yeah. you laughing at my jokes, ha ha! I'm in there. Gotcha. That was funny. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Right. My Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> but like, it's more so like, yeah, I have to kind of gauge. Right. Yeah. But like, some women are just nice. Like, some women right. are just friendly in, right. in yeah. a social setting. So like, I just don't interpret every situation like, oh, okay, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. So I would. Yeah. That would be. Yeah. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> you smiling? You smiling? Right, That's right, me. Right. You, me, you, you, are. you want me? So yeah. yeah, so yeah, I get curved a lot, but I had to, you know, you just have to build up a thick skin. Mm-hmm. You know, my my brother told me like women nowadays, y'all need to, we have to put ourselves out there more and like. Be the be the one the aggressive. talking, the aggressive. yeah, and stuff. And that's I'm just not yeah. like that. Because Go out there I'm, grabbing niggas' yeah. arms, hey, hey, hey. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, that's and the now. you and me, nigga, we together forever. <laughs> but I'm just that's what my brother said. He was like, you gotta put yourself out there. You gotta maybe go yeah, talk to the guy. Yeah. And I'm just not like that. I'm you gotta do them like they do you. Be like black pants, black pants. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta grab your nigga in the club. I'm coming from behind his waist. Excuse me, that hey, just getting by you. Oh. You with the George on? Yeah, yeah. George. Hey, chocolate drop. What's up, my king? Yeah, Me, you know what I'm saying? Saying. you want to drink? drink? You want to drink? <laughs> <But it's, laughs> <wanna> drink? <laughs> hey, that brings up a whole interesting topic though, because I feel like that's what the new dynamic is now. Men now, specifically black men, are starting to recognize that there is a limited availability of good, reasonable candidates out here. So with that comes a certain power, a certain privilege, whatever you want to call it, that some, puts a lot of pressure, I feel like, on women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now that's why they sit back and we look, and, and men Charlie. now are looking back like, what you got? What I you going to do? You what do you say need? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> here's, what, here's my point, though. I feel like now men's expectations are a lot more for women. That's what point I'm making. Well, that's because I believe some women made it that way. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, you know, it's a slippery slope, I kind of say. Like, you know, I don't really know. I can't say what it is for y'all in y'all dynamics and y'all heterosexual relationships. Mm-hmm. I don't even go based on, like, you know, what I see my friends and shit. But for me, it's just, like, I got to be picky. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a rat race out here. Mm-hmm. If you look like you about something... Somebody might just be out to milk you dry. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah. That's you know true. what I'm saying? I wouldn't say specifically black men. I just think, you know, everybody's so everybody's so, intuition is a little up. So, <laughs> so, 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 can we agree that there's a limited or less availability of well, uh, potential options for black men? Yes. Or are you yeah, getting yeah, the point yeah, of yeah, yeah. kind no, of options? No, 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 no. no. Okay. There's, there's a very, there's. In LA, you have black men who are I mm-hmm. only date right. outside of my race. Right. Then you have black men who are like, oh, I only date girls who yep. look like. Yep. But right. you know why that is? L- yeah. Because yeah. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. where you are in California, we're a collective atmosphere. No, it's not so much superficial. Like yeah. we have a collective. Like those are options that we've always had. Yeah. So when y'all come from all these other states, right. y'all not used to all that. Right. So then y'all right. always y'all pigeonhole everything into right. a category right. because you're not used to seeing that. But that these are sense. not these are not new things. Like we've always had guys that only date these kind of girls. Guys uh-huh. that, but you coming from a different right. atmosphere where... We didn't y'all, have all those yeah, options. Y'all didn't have right. all those options. That makes a lot of sense. So, like, yeah, like, don't... Yep. You know what I'm saying? You just in a... You in a, a bigger fish bowl now. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm Thanks. saying? You're in a tank. And I'm a big fish. There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There or a big bone. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no big bone. Ain't no such thing. See? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a myth. <laughs> 
Ain't no but bone nah. in your ass. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Um, but yeah, what do y'all think? Do you like well, Charlie? Do you think somebody would should just come up to you and talk to you, or like? Would you be turned off if a woman did that to you? No. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with showing interest, but I think go. there's just an the art to how you do it. Or, you know, yeah. you don't want to seem like you desperate or you thirsty. Hey, hey what's up, my king, brother? You looking good. <laughs> right, you got your right, car? Right, right. Oh, like, brother. Too much, looking, man. Oh, okay. Man. Well, this is what I got. You know, you don't want to do all that, but yeah. you can still, hey, how you doing today? Yeah, you know, what's yeah. up? And that's for some guys, that's kind of all it takes. All you got to do is mm-hmm. kind of say a little what's up. Mm-hmm. And you know, you know. Nigga, on you. Right. Because right. that might definitely do it for but some guys. But you can't be so closed off. A woman, you know, approaching them mm-hmm. first. They might be like, oh, like, what's up? For Tim, so, would you approach a man that you was interested in? I have. Okay. Yeah, not lately, but I have done it. That okay. was probably so, like the only one out of like my group of friends that would. I'm like, why is y'all bitches acting serious? Like, you right. cute. Go you would approach them. But see, that's what makes it harder for the women that don't make those moves. Because the women that are aggressive, that are those are the ones that are. It's not even about being that. aggressive. It's just mm-hmm. shit, but it is. initiating it like, oh, what's up? Like, but, but there's a sense of I ain't gonna call it entitlement at all. But there's this sense of some women that just feel like, well, a man just needs to come holler at me. You know what I'm saying? It's well, that like, kind of a question attitude. for you, Charlie, because I, I, I heard this somewhere. And I think it's, yeah, and I heard this too. Like, if you was out at an outing or whatever, mm-hmm. and well, if you were single. And is it intimidating to guys if you see, like, a group of women hanging together and you might see one that catches your attention? Like, would you be less likely to go up and approach them as a group? Yeah. Probably. I mean, me personally, I, I would because I'm just, you know, I got that kind of personality where I just, hey, whatever, nigga. <laughs> oh, Y'all no, might right, not right. like don't, these don't, women. I'm going to tell you, low-key, do about this. Um, did you see where Will Smith said he he couldn't speak to Tupac when he was talking about Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that was real. I, I thought I'd never hear a dude say that. Mm-hmm. Like, he's low-key. Yeah, he he's very honest. Yeah, he's right. very honest and yeah that very was mature. like, I was I just like, I had a problem damn. with that relationship. I was intimidated I was, by the Yeah, he said he was very real. insecure at that time. That's crazy. Would you a do that, like, if your if your wife had a, like, male best friend? Yeah. Would you? Would That's you, a good question. I would you be okay with it? Yeah. I probably would just communicate to her. What my what I have an issue with, and yeah, if I had an issue with it, I would I would own it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't try to hide it and be like this secretly, because you know, as the older you get, you like you know, I ain't got the energy. We got to call. What if it was Tupac? Uh, or no? What if it was Future? <laughs> yeah, what if it was? Oh future? no! Oh, shit. Like oh, that's but just, see, that's, that's a whole argument too. Because sometimes me and my wife had those conversations. Cause she'll be like, oh yeah, Future. Sometimes she smell like his swag. She mm-hmm. still think he's good, make good rap. Good, 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 good. Hold on, that's one thing. We got a call, caller. Mm-hmm. Come through. What's up, young guys of comedy? What's up? YGLC hit us. Hey. Hey. Hey, y'all. It's Nakia from the Bay. What's up? Hey, Nia. Hey, so I'm on the move, so I may cut in and out because I'm working right now. But Are you hustling? I was calling in about <laughs> um about the trash dick. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. About the trash so, dick. <laughs> my thing is, is if sex is not good, mm-hmm. then we, if we don't have a sexual connection, we don't have then we don't have an emotional connection. Got that right, Nakia. Yes. Yes. So if the if the sex is trash, we can't be together. Well, what would you? How would you? Because they, Fatima and Charlie are like, oh, you guys have to have a conversation. How would you bring this conversation to this trash dick uh, individual? <laughs> well, would you, would you <laughs> go so somewhere? Here's, here's no. what I've done in the past. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've done. Oh, done so you've had trash dick before, Nikia. Yes, <laughs> we've all had trash dick. I mean, it's, it's, we it's, all it's, have, it's, girl. We all have. I have. But what I had to explain, <laughs> I had to try trash. and teach them what I liked, and I showed them videos of what I liked. See. Okay. And Can you email us you know, try to try to yeah, coerce please. them to do what I like because you know you already know I'm gonna do what you like because you didn't told me what you like so I'm doing it. Right. Uh-huh. But if you can't do what I like when I'm telling you that I like this or I don't like that and you want to keep doing it, then we done. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh-huh. See okay. communication. Right. right. So you don't really say trash. You just be like, right. well, not, well I like this isn't working for yeah. me. Let's try this and let me show you examples. Okay. Uh, what to do. Have you ever been so upset and be like, man, I wish I could take that pussy back? I can't. Should have given. What does H and S want to chime in with? Yes, um, I was gonna ask uh, Nakia from the Bay. Uh, whatever happened to relationships and working through it and growing together? All right, come on, man. She just said well, she would communicate thing. with him. Before, when she when you're in a relationship with someone mm-hmm. and you you get into the relationship already knowing that things are great, mm-hmm. or you not knowing that things are great, but you already know that you have that sexual connection. Mm-hmm. Now, if I don't have, if I can't have a sexual connection with you, I can't be in a relationship with you. Yeah. Because I'm a I'm a sexual being. Mm-hmm. So. I understand what in you're saying. In most cases, if I'm not, if I can't, if I can't get it from you, I gotta get it from somewhere else. And my fingers, my Hitachi, and my hand can only do so much. Oh, mm-hmm. so let me ask y'all <laughs> this because I kind of go by this, and nobody's really not on my team. I say like, let's fuck first. No, then, no let me finish, and then go on a date. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> no. then all the tension is out. 
of the like I think we could really vibe and enjoy that date. No, no, no. Because nah, cause I can't. Because I can't be in on a date with I can't have sex with someone. Sex is good, and then they at the restaurant ordering a dakwai. Oh, with something. You know, <laughs> I, don't make sense. I can't be with someone who's not intelligent oh or has some kind of sense. Oh, that's, no, no, that's, I'm not saying like, smart. no, I'm not saying on the first like we just met and I'm just like, hey, let's fuck men go on a date. I'm just saying usually prior like you build up conversation, conversation yeah. before you yeah. go out on a date. Oh. But I'm like usually because you you in my opinion you go when you're introducing yourself to somebody it's based on lust like i'm attracted to you because physically i don't know nothing about you Mm -hmm. in your personal thing Mm -hmm. so clearly i want to fuck like Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because i'm physically attracted to you Mm -hmm. so if i we exchange information and we're talking and whatever and we're vibing to me it's just like oh let's just make sure the sex is cool Mm -hmm. because then like we go on on these dates we invest in this time and then we finally fuck and it's just like ah you know what i'm saying but that means that that means sex is at the top of your priority but it may not be at the top of their priority and that's gonna put put a lot of women at risk of just giving Mm -hmm. it away and just being trash thank you whisper yeah, or you, or you get. Oh, uh, the worst is when I you give it away and it's trash. Mm-hmm. I be wanting to fight it. I, I have want to fight. I have a question for the panel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would love it if Charlie can answer this question. Talk to me. We'll let him go first. Thank you. <laughs> um, can you tell the panel what is trash pussy? It's hard to have trash pussy, but. I would know the answer to that. Well, fuck you, man. I would but go f- ahead. No, no, no. I said this for the panel. I want Charlie to answer first. I'm not as familiar. They're very, I don't, I don't well, know. How long have you been you married? married? He's been with yeah, married for like 10 oh, years. Yeah, he's right. Smart right. answer. I've been, I've been Smart answer, years, brother. But still, like, yeah, I'm still human. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so, you, you, so you have an experience, trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, I mean, it's a myth to me. I mean, maybe I'll be single one day and say, oh, this is the trash pussy I've been talking about. Oh, no. God damn, it really is some trash But You lucky I've been married. Right. I don't think there can be trash uh, I think of course not. <laughs> unless, unless it's a hygiene women, thing. No, unless it's uh, hygiene. No, no, whisper, no. whisper, or, whisper, or, whisper. Or they're bad in bed. Whisper. They're just not good at whisper. Whisper. That's, tra- that's trash pushing. No, no, no. They're bad in bed. Whisper. There's a very such thing as trash pussy. Nick, you say <laughs> it's, <laughs> listen, it's out there. Because I'm going to give you gay, it's effect- it's, it's give you a, gay trash pussy. It's affecting the world. Okay? It's affecting me. Bad. Not anymore because I'm, I'm not out in the streets. Um, but I think a lot of times women often give, them, give themselves away too much. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so when you try to have that connection with the woman and you get up in there, I don't want to be too graphic on a Sunday, but you get up, you <laughs> get up in there and, and it's shit just like heart. a hallway. Yeah. Cause wow. you didn't, and, and then, and then for me and for me and too, at least I know me, yeah. if you're with the woman, especially over and my brother can attest to this yeah. certain for after a certain amount of time, you know what that feels like. Yeah. And you know, if it's been adjusted yeah. in any kind of way. Men and that's the so worst feeling in so the precious. world. You don't this is know real. Anything has been adjusted. That's, that's what you think. Well, you can't notice any difference well, in y'all's man. What if, ladies? What if yeah. y'all every time y'all had sex, sex with your man, it, you, every time he had sex, it turned a different color or something? You was like, hey, nigga, you didn't do something else. You know what I'm saying? So there's differences and changes that, that could affect. So when the you pleasure, notice that you know change, do you make mention of it? Who me? I'm bouncing. Any? Oh, you just gonna leave? I'm not sharing my pussy. I'm out. Oh. I don't share pussy. Mm. Oh, so he, he knows it well. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't share. Mm. Yeah. So wait a minute. Somebody else done been down this hallway before. I'm out. Uh, yeah, so, and <laughs> women have whole entire <laughs> babies and then their vagina goes back. Listen. So you saying, oh, it's been somebody else. Somebody done open a window in here. I, <laughs> whisper, most so women, most, so you wouldn't say that's an ego thing? Most, no, yeah, most women sure. don't. That's what you keep speaking for men. But most women don't no, I'm think. Asking. No, I'm talking to whisper. Oh. Most women don't think that there's such thing as trash vagina, which I understand. You know? Um, no, I, I said that too. I was like, mm, every woman thinks they got bomb I, I vagina. Mean, I right. say that. But, like a lot of guys probably think they got bomb think, dick. That's not always true. Yeah, that's well, that sounds a little defensive. But I, I, yeah. I want you, I want you guys <laughs> to tell me <laughs> a little. Women <laughs> have bad vagina unless it's like a Hi, hygiene, unless it's cleanliness. hygiene, or you or only, just, or you just only not good at it. That's not. Yeah, that's what you keep saying that. But I'm assuming you've never actually been in vagina. Mm-hmm. In the physical sense, so I'm telling you from somebody hey, so who's been outside in it. Of your own? Yeah, <laughs> so somebody no, who, like for real. You know yeah, I mean, like, like in the like, physical way. So like, speak for every, right. Right. yeah. So like in a, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, but, be, yeah. I think that I honestly think that there is different types of. But do you think that be? Are you gonna answer my question? What's like, your question? Is that an ego thing? A hundred percent not. It's not an ego thing. I can tell that somebody's been in the vagina. Mm-hmm. No, like that that's like evidence that she's cheating. Yeah, like that's bouncing. Like, oh, she fucking somebody no, else. I, Okay, I don't know kind of kind of I don't know about anybody else on the panel, but me personally, I just don't 
I just don't really want to share that. That's a personal thing. No, no, to me. I get you. So I it wouldn't that. it wouldn't be an ego thing in Nobody that sense. Like, to share, right, right, right. Nobody right, but to share. right, but I, I wouldn't want to be in there. That's like a nigga asking to borrow my drawers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm cool. Just Going behind some other man. I think he came up in your most right. personal sacred. And it's some of you know, you, you, know you know for a fact it's from fucking somebody else. Right, yeah. but that's the whole thing. That's that would be the argument. though. who's to say she just ain't sneaking a dildo in the house? You know what I'm saying? How you know she ain't want to have some preventive care? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. No, no, I'm just asking. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I said, you don't think that's an ego thing? Because, like, yeah, oh, you immediately was like, you letting somebody in the Well, we all know, mm-hmm. you know, men are usually less, a lot less tolerable of that's any all, type of As long as you're holding yourself accountable, that's yeah. all. Men could cheat crazy, <laughs> and then and women, like, talk to a nigga for too long, and they're like, you whole ass. How <laughs> <laughs> dare you? Man, one time I remember my wife got into it years ago. She was working in the mall years ago, and I walked up on her, I said, what? What the fuck is going on here? She was talking to something in the mall. Yeah, you know, I guess somebody just stopped or something like that. I said, what the fuck is going on? And to me, in the man's mind, it looked like it was 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, this nigga laughing seconds. and shit. I was like, oh, okay. And we had to have a long talk. She was like, I don't ever do nothing. He had just stopped me. And I was, I was just like, no, man. What the hell was y'all talking about? It take two seconds to tell this nigga you guys about y'all. Like, it take two extra, seconds. Well, extra. Come man, from the same nigga that's smiling protecting. at bitches at the comedy club. It's my job. <laughs> Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Is you have to understand and understand what you signed up for and who you with and what you got. You know what I'm well, saying? So why, saying, would I, like, why would I try to date Whisper so, and then expect to now her not to okay, be around guys? But you making that point, you know what I'm when I mm-hmm. made my point about generally whoever I entertain, they're on my level. You know what I'm saying? If mm-hmm. I'm holding a conversation with them, and mm-hmm. I'm so like for me to say, let's have the sexual experience. I already know you're not an idiot. Right. I already know you're not nothing mm-hmm. else because I've been talking to you. Mm-hmm. So like let's yeah. just, and then like low key, I I su- always suggested because I've done it, and like the date was great because there wasn't no tension. Mm-hmm. Like we just really had a good time. And then you know everybody's euphoric after you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but sexual mm-hmm. attention isn't necessarily a bad thing. No, no, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, a lot of time usually be wasted though if the sex is bad. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you didn't, you didn't went on these dates. I didn't build a connection with you, and this and that. And yeah. then we, we it's do it, and then I'm just like, damn. Like that was disappointing. Yeah. All of this time. <laughs> I could have watched other paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> other I paint can't. dry. Did the ladies express what bad uh, sex is? No, I'm sorry, no, they didn't. Mm-hmm. What? I would love what to hear oh, that. Yeah. What is that. From that my point of view, as yes, a, yes. Because we we brought this up as a few a times hoe. today about <laughs> <laughs> about men having bad sex or the sex being bad or not compatible. So can we get an example what oh, that is? Oh, I absolutely hate when dudes just like there's no foreplay. They just go dive right into it and just think like just they just beating it up like ah, like nigga. You're, that's not doing anything. I don't know why men. men they it feels, super it tight. Feels, <laughs> it feels really good to them. I guess all that friction, but us is is not great. And then I hate when niggas give you head and it's so much spit. Or they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> or the worst is when a nigga, I don't know why men think this, you rubbing your whole face. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just looking at you Talk like, about please, it, please Talk at about it. Look at your tongue and your look fingers. Like, why is your whole at this face is, is too much? Too I much. just be looking at them. I'll be tapping them like, sir, excuse me. Can you uh, find the clip? Thank you. I feel your nose bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know who is telling them that. Telling them like I'm gonna just rub my face against the clip twenty five thousand times. You're like, oh please. Your get forehead off me. is pressing in my pelvis. <laughs> but again, yeah. he hasn't had enough communication with women oh, to know yes. that, that maybe that's not a word. Know. I'm gonna just watching you everything on the internet. Said, Wait, and I've also had to do. Hilarious. I've also had to do wrap his leg around me. Like Whoa, after, what? after Wait like a minute. After, after it's done, you know, you laying there. He like wrapped his leg around me and crossed my leg and like, oh, I was just like, get off of me. You trying to cuddle? He was just like. Oh, oh my! God. Like, a, like a spoon in you? Yeah, you, know? no, you put it on him. No, <laughs> no, no, no! I'm sitting, I'm sitting straight like this, right. and he is cuddling the side of me, wrapped around, and got his leg thrown over me. Well, I maybe felt, that's how he's asleep. He needs some love. Ugh. He wants some love. That's all. We got, we have, we have we a, got call. a call. <laughs> yeah, right. Hello, caller. How are you? Hi, young guns of comedy. How are you all doing? Good. 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 How are Something you? Else. I'm doing well. Uh, this is Seymour. What's up, hey, Seymour. What's up? Uh, that it's refreshing to hear the young brother on the panel talk about, you know, how great the sex not being the thing that's causing you to want to be with the person. Because I'm sure mm-hmm. a lot of, I think, uh, Whisper has shared 
she met a guy that had some good teams, <laughs> but then everything else about him was trash. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. prefer? Do you, can you handle, oh, he has good dick, but he doesn't work, and he's like, you know, it's like having a child right. versus, okay, his penis is not so great, now but he's handling love. business. It's something yeah. we can work on. Right. Dang mm-hmm. it. It's like all you want so is the balance. So I like how Charla was saying you can't let pleasure mm-hmm. lead your life. You yeah, know what absolutely. I'm saying? Like you got to have balance. That's true. Absolutely. That's very, very true. true. And oh. I feel a problem with today, though. Excuse me. I know it's Sunday. Mm-hmm. But I'm just going to keep it like this, Nick. Please don't judge me. Keep it a you can't leave. Everybody's trying to leave with their penis and pussy. Right. Mm. There, are, there is no real connection. Right. right. And sex is more mental than it is physical. So Amen. I don't know. True. But it was just refreshing to hear Charlie, a man, say that. You know, because usually we, as females, we're the emotional ones who want to have that connection. But to hear him say Seymour, that, you now you know, you know that's oh, all Seymour. his wife. Yeah. That's Shout, out <laughs> Shout out to she, Seymour. Yeah. She has I, molded him into the man he yeah. is. I got a lot of experience. <laughs> that's and all that is. Charlie, where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. Oh, where snap. Are you from? I'm from Shreveport. I'm from Shreveport. Oh, Shut snap. Him out. We didn't got person. Oh, I went to Huntington. Get on back to the discussion. Praise the Lord. And, you know, it's just refreshing. Thank you, Seymour. Shout out to Seymour. I feel like she gathered me together. I feel yeah, like she was like, let me get her together right now. Gotta, it's no. true. But it's also, it's, it's, I mean, it's piggyback on that Southern folk yeah. thing, too. You know, we're yeah. from the South, so we, we just... No, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm I totally... I as a race, totally different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Y'all I'm, are a little bit more open-minded. It's not oh, just uh, the new generation, but just the new time. No, we are a little more open-minded. No, we we're just, just like, yeah, ah. Yeah. Because I feel like that sex thing could just be great, but it could just be great sex. Exactly. That doesn't mean you're going to get all the other things that you may need in a partner. Because right. what's going to happen is you're going to have that great sex, and then you're going to run up on somebody who's really a boss. You're going to run up on somebody who's really like, ah, oh, no, nah, I'm for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, damn, I got that sex, but not that mental. So like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I not always want to say, like, for me personally, like, growing up in California, like, you guys saw, like, more family dynamics right, than right, we right. saw. You know what I'm saying? As far mm-hmm. as relationships, like, it was somebody around y'all that had a, a relationship and showed you how a woman should treat a man. Will Smith man. on the Fresh Prince. We were just talking about Uncle Phil, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we saw. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Not to say, like, you know, I had some aunts and uncles and stuff, but I wasn't around right. them consistently mm-hmm. enough to, to get to see the, what that yeah, looks like. To get mm-hmm. the things that a lot of, I feel, people who were raised in the South get. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but it's also because, like, we're so eclectic here. We have Yeah, of- no, it's definitely out there. But I feel like it's almost a, a gift and a curse coming from the South because <laughs> we saw that. We knew that that was the goal, and we all wanted it. Like, my parents divorced when I was, what, my daughter's age. You know what I'm saying? Seven years old, eight years old, they split. <laughs> but in my mind, I always kind of knew, like, I'm supposed to have somebody with a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is supposed to be, we got to figure it out, or whatever, with the whoop. And uh, here I go with the whoop de whoop stuff. That's the <laughs> Southern shit coming out. Y'all don't, they don't, tell, they don't, talk, they don't say that shit out here? You be no, hearing that no. whoop de whoop? No, not not out here. I back oh, okay. over. I've heard it. Before. But uh, yeah, man, it's just all the time we didn't spend going back and forth and communicating this relationship, man. Now I'm just kind of like, shh, no, I that's already good. You invested that time, like I I love black love. Like I'm happy you and your wife and. I watch a little video. I was like, oh. But it's a day-to-day process, man. We ain't, we ain't by any means, like, got it figured out by any right. means or perfect or anything like that. But we just, you know, we've been through a lot of shit together, and we got a lot of history together, and we both recognize that that's valuable. Mm-hmm. So we both big. recognize that our daughter is valuable. So we try to, you know, I, that's why every night, like, we'll talk for sometimes just an hour. Like, fellas, like, you just got to be patient. Like, if she worth it and you love her or whatever with you will, Sometimes you just gotta have those hard discussions. So well, I just want to encourage to everybody. To if you really love, if that's who you want to be with, like yeah. I think you'll take that time too. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. Have you these conversations. But if it's somebody you just not. Right. Then everybody just gotta be mindful. Like everybody ain't for everybody. Exactly. Right. Like if right. you want to have a conversation and they don't, maybe that's not yeah, your exactly. person. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's the key though is having someone who's willing to listen. Just like with, again, it's the fourth time going back to what the fifth team said, trying to communicate. Where those changes need to be, because if they love you enough and this is the right person, then they'll make those changes. But I feel like if you have sex too soon, you don't know whether or not how willing they are to give you anything. I'm not except for that. sex, which a lot of people would give you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you know I'm different. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been wonderful. Hey. But we gotta start to wrap this up. So Charlie, give you info, sir, please. Hey, follow me on the gram, Charlie Wilson TV. Every Friday we open mic spot. Meet me there. It's going down. Hot show. Um, you can find me, Whisper Washington Comedy, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and I will be consistently dropping funny videos and shows for you to come see me live. All right. You can follow me at underscore K-A-Y-D-O-T-T on Instagram. It's just Karina Wells on Facebook. I'll be going to the open mic spot. Are they open tomorrow? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go I there so. tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put up some videos. I'm going to get a whisper here to help me hey. with my YouTube page because I'll be on some Martin <laughs> shit. I'm kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> I, my social media ain't up to pa. <laughs> All right. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Fatima underscore Ming, F A T I M A underscore M I N G. Also, please follow us at Young Guns of Comedy on Instagram and uh, Facebook. What did we say? Yeah, Facebook too. Same thing. Also, remember to tune in tomorrow because Speedy will be here because yeah. he's off right. from work. So they're going to be Speedy and Friends tomorrow, 11 ish to 3 ish, whenever they get around to getting in here because that's just how it goes. Um, oh, the but replay. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's a show. A it's a show. No, I said the replay for us. Oh, for oh us. yeah, that's going to be Wednesday at 11 a.m., I believe. This show will re-air, um, so you guys can catch it then or catch it again. Um, so we will leave you guys with the word of the week, which is going to be, don't get caught up in the opinions of others. Yes, it's human nature to want to be liked and accepted. However, this can lead to worrying too much about what others My nigga, think. I thought it was a word. <laughs> 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 oh, you meant like a word. Nigga, that's nigga, nigga, nigga. hilarious. Hater. Let me finish, damn it. No, my nigga, you be over here reading. I am. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm motivating the people. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 You know, like, can, 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 you can we get some hood music? quotes? Yeah, anyway, no, that's not what this is. Like, keep like, your head up, homie. Really like, keep this No, no. no. Real. We ain't doing this that. Anyway. The beautiful diamond in the rainbow. <laughs> the long girl. Yeah. Take the long take to get the hell out of here. So, as a girl. Anyway. Read your little spiritual. <laughs> so sure. make a conscious effort to do what I'm doing, not giving a damn by what other people think. Let yourself be free. Once you give up catering to other people's opinions and thoughts, you will discover who you truly are, and that freedom will be like taking a breath for the very first time. So just do you. Ooh, Don't worry about other people's opinions. Do. Thank y'all for tuning in today, and oh. allegedly we'll be back hey. Sunday oh. at one o'clock. But thank y'all for watching. But we out of here. Fatima was caught up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>